That was weird. Everything just suddenly muted. I didn't tell it to do that. How's it going, Cooley? Welcome to the stream. Hey, Amelia, how are you? I'm running a little late today. Let me... Why aren't we showing? Hello, Hello motherfucker! motherfucker. <laughs> well, not because you don't check Discord. You are right. I did say I checked Discord. I'm sorry. I will. I will check it today for sure. I ended up doing a very long stream yesterday and kind of lost track of stuff. Why isn't this showing on stream? Oh, I know exactly what the problem is. Bear with me, I could fix this. Also too loud, I gotta fix that too. These technical difficulties, I swear. My computer does this every time, I bet it's using the wrong video card. It doesn't show up on stream if it's the wrong video card. One second I will read that. I have to navigate through a maze of a filing system to... <laughs> I just got to navigate through all this to, to find the right spot. I always forget where my Steam games are hidden. Crap. Here we are. I think I found it. Yo, Luco! How's it going, dude? Here, 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 here. Steam, Steam apps. Common. There we go. Chrono Trigger. Now, we'll set it to use the correct GPU. And now it should show up on stream. I hope. Yes, that was the problem. All right. All right. Chrono Trigger. It, I saw it for a second. Why is it gone now? It was there. I'm not crazy, right? What's it doing? Let me try this. to stream what it doesn't like showing up first of all let me fix the audio because it's too loud but it's blowing my eardrums out i should have done all this before stream all right let me get out of the menu there okay So yeah, Luco, you're kind of the reason that I'm unorganized and slightly late to stream here. Ooh, is that your drawing from yesterday? I do want to see that. The sound effects even sound like Toriyama. This game is a masterpiece, so I've not played it in probably 20 years, but it, I've beaten it. I've gotten every ending. So I mean, I got really, really into this game. It was the PlayStation release specifically that I played a lot. I know I got all the endings, but... It has been a long time, and I can't figure out why it's not going. Oh, please. Hey, hey. Okay, it's showing now. Let's not touch anything. Check Discord. All right, Amelia, I will check Discord. Yo, what's up, family? <laughs> Oh, 
I want to watch. I want the little like anime opening to show because it's cool and it's so Toriyama. All right, let me check your your thing here, Luco. All right, let's let this play. Why did it stop showing? Is it just the cutscenes that don't work for some reason? They don't stream. That's super weird. Why would it stop showing the cutscene? Yeah, and then it works as soon as I'm out of the cutscene. Dude. I will literally YouTube that opening video. I think it might be you're switching the window. Alright, here's what we're doing because it's a cool opening. I'm literally just gonna show it on YouTube if it won't show up in game. Dragon Quest 9 does the same thing. Because I wanna I wanna see it. Also, I wanna look at Luco's art real quick. DQ11. Oh, I love DQ11. I haven't tried to stream it, though. Hey, hey, it's looking more detailed. Robo's a lot more, uh, a lot easier to pick out now. And it looks like you made him bigger. Yeah, I, I know. I know the difference between 11 and 9. I was just reading it quickly. The eyes on the wrong side. I'm not that dumb. Uh, that's looking really good, Luco. All right, let's YouTube. Chrono Trigger opening. If we're trying to appreciate Toriyama's art, how could we skip the actual, like, awesome anime cutscene opening? Alright, so let me go browser? Hey, alright. I hope this doesn't get me, like, demonetized. This is what it was not showing on stream for some reason. He's a chunky boy. Toriyama's style is so obvious in the cutscenes specifically that weren't in the original game, to be fair. The Super Nintendo didn't have these. They added these, I think, for the PlayStation release. Is, is your fart not playing, Fat Mario? I didn't hear that one. No, that's just... The sound alert is just taking a while to show up. I did hear it. I don't know if Toriyama actually had any connection to drawing or storyboarding, storyboarding these cutscenes, or it was people just using his style. Yes, I'm playing on the Steam version, Shadow Planet. Oh, that's loud. Yeah, I'm playing the Steam version. I bought this game, like, the day it released on Steam. It was Hit Studios? Cool. Dude, Frog. Frog's the ultimate Chad. He's gonna be on my team as much as it lets me. <laughs> looks like GT, but you know good? That's brutal. I don't think GT looks bad. Alright, Fat Mario, what are you playing? Some Valorant while you're lurking, or are you doing something else? Aw, oh, dude. He's so cool. Yeah, it's not a great show. Oh yeah, Luco. So, um, I was getting Rondo of Blood emulation set up, which it turns out getting proper emulation set up for the PC engine is kind of hard. So I ran out of time. I mean, I finished it, then I got Rondo of Blood working, and I tested it out to make sure it worked well. And it turns out that game's kind of hard to stop playing. So I played, like, the first two and a half levels before I was like, oh no, it's stream time. So I blame you. Alright, that's what, for some reason, wouldn't show up on stream. Now we can go back to the game. Dude, Rondo of Blood... Uh, on the on the PC Engine uh, CD, that game is beautiful. That game looks so good. All right, all right. Now everything's working. 
Let's play Chrono Trigger. One of my favorite games. I'm excited to play again. It's been a long time. Whoa. That looks fine. Active or wait? I mean, I like wait. Or I prefer wait. High resolution graphics? Original or high resolution graphics? I don't know anything about if the high resolution graphics actually look good. Do they look bad? Should I stick with the original or risk it? Let's let's try it. All right, let's go. Chrono. I don't like changing names if they have a name. We'll stick to Chrono. All right. Dude, I love this game so much. I love the music. I know that it's, it's kind of heresy, though, but I, I'm one of the few people that I actually like Chrono Cross even more. I love Chrono Cross. It's mostly because of the, the soundtrack. I think Chrono Cross might have the best soundtrack of maybe any game ever. All right. Oh, it's me mom, if I remember right. Chrono. Chrono. Chrono, are you still sleeping? It's just not Chrono Trigger 2. We, I, I, it is still kind of weird that we never got a continuation of the Chrono games. Did this turn itself back up? Why is it so loud? It, the game is super loud. There. Chrono Cross definitely is Chrono Trigger 2. It's just not clear until, like, 80% through the game when suddenly the connections start popping up and you're like, oh. it's it's got That game's got a really good story. Dear me, I've forgotten how beautiful Lean's Bell sounds. You must have been so excited about the Millennial Fair that you couldn't sleep last night, could you? Well, you'd better not let that giddiness get you into any trouble. I want you to behave yourself today. So, it's it, like I said, it's been a long time since I played this. Get out of bed. Um, I remember the infamous and amazing court scene where you get arrested. So I'm going to try. I don't know if there's a way to actually win the trial, but I'm going to try to be a good boy at the fair and uh, not get myself arrested later. See if that works out. Really have to give it a fair chance to get to see the connections, which most people didn't. Yeah, very true. Dude, the music! The music in this game! Legendary. This isn't even, like, my favorite track in this game, and it's so good. Get extra stuff if you're a good boy. Yeah, okay. It's about time. By the way, you're going to go see... Oh, dear. What was her name? That young inventress friend of yours? Come on, Mom. Like, five people live in this town. You can remember Luca's name. The... Spoilers, Luca. Wait. Luca. All right, let's name her Luca. Luca, you get to be in this game. You're the inventor. Because her name's so close to yours. That's right, Luco. You're going to stop by and see your new invention at the fair, aren't you? Although, I'm going to admit, Luco, you're not going to be on the team much. I remember not being a big fan of the inventor girl. Well, run along then. Be back before dinner. Oh, my allowance. Yeah, give me that money, Mom. 200 gold. I don't remember who, so I always pick my parties usually based on what characters I like. Perfect analogy. <laughs> so, of course, you have to have Frog because he's like the biggest Chad of all time. And he has the best song. In fact, the best song in the game is probably Frog's theme. I think most people would agree with that. So you always have Frog on the team. 
And the other person I had on the team, I think, is a spoiler, so in case someone hasn't played it, I'm not going to say. You probably know who I mean by me telling you it's a spoiler. Uh, Alright, let's just look around, because I don't really remember what to do. It's been too long. Can I test out the other graphics mid-game? See if I like them more. This is how I'll finally... Yo, Hyper Ray! What's up, dude? Let's test out the original graphics, see what I like better. You know what? I kind of prefer original. Unless we, unless people don't want that, I'm probably going to leave it at this. I like it looking a little pixelated. It's spoilers and Robo. Oh yeah, Robo's cool. Dude, it, it, the only thing that's required is Frog. Frog is too cool. I'm into the fair yet, no. So it's not the original. New, it looks different. I mean, I like that they did the high resolution, but I don't mind it looking all pixelated. I do not need to stay here. Buy you a drink? Alright, she looks cute. Let's buy her a drink. We pay you a song in return? I wish we had the CRT shaders for the OG. Nice. So she's playing a... That's a gloomy song, lady. She's a sad drunk. Technically, I could play it on an emulator, but I, since I own it, I figured I'll just play the Steam version. I actually hadn't played the Steam version before, not since I bought it. Remember that earthquake we had the other day? No. You're an oblivious one, aren't you? Well, never mind then. What about it? We've been having far too many lately. Hope it's not a sign of something bad about to happen. Steam version is fixed. It used to be bad. Something off about the HD look. I do think these sprites were meant to look like this. Yeah. Now, obviously, on a CRT screen back in the day, it would be, it would be blurred, you know, a bit. It wouldn't look quite as chunky, but it doesn't look bad. A little chunky. Market. It's a, it's a stole in Lean Square. I know I'm supposed to go to the fair, but I will look around. Oh, Luke, Luco's house. All right. Where you at, Luco? They imported the Android version as is. They did that with a lot of the Final Fantasy games too, and it made me very upset. Until they they finally fixed it with the HD, the Pixel remasters, which are excellent. There's finally good versions of all the old Final Fantasies on Steam, and that makes me so happy. Oh, the old ones before the Pixel Remaster were terrible. Oh, hello, Chrono. Luke goes off at Lean Square with her father, Tabin, Taban, unveiling her new invention. Let's go check it out. If anyone spends what's time my stream, they know I am a Final Fantasy lover. Love it very much. Luco, you made the discovery of a lifetime. It tells me I'm as happy now as I'll ever be. That's a sad thought. Fun fact, my dad's first name is Brazil. And you live in Brazil? Your dad's named after the country you live in? I guess there's people named America. So. Oh, the races. Today is the 1,000th anniversary of our kingdom's foundation, and don't enjoy the festivities. I surely would if I were your age. Very uncommon. Another thing I don't remember about this game, USJ, yo, what's up, Pull 180? Isn't your real name Great Britain? Like, first name Great, last name Britain? This is Lean Square. Legend has it, people who hear Lean's Bell live happily ever after. Oh. You sell things I don't need. First name Ing, last name Land. <laughs> my grandpa wanted a name that started with Burr because my uncle is named Bruno. Oh.
Hmm. I love the festival theme song. Dude, the music in this game is just so good. Wants to sell me a sword. Nah. You want to try and guess the next winner? Talk to me once the runners have lined up over there after... Alright, we're definitely going to bet on the race. Well, dang. The knight's not going to win twice in a row, though. Hello? You know, I'm a Bulma-like person in this game and IRL. Alright, I'm betting on the soldier. Alright, line up. I want the soldier. Sure. DI jogger. You got it, buddy. Can we, like, stop the others? Can I slow down you? Guys, darn. Come on, GI Jogger. Dude, you're in last place. Hurry up. Oh man. I almost bet on the dog or cat or whatever that is. Dang. GI Jogger sucks. What a loser. Do I get anything if I guess right? I'm going to try again. All right, we're betting on G.I. Jogger again. He's got to come back from that embarrassing defeat. I kind of want to read Dr. Slump now. Do it, full 180. It's a Toriyama celebration day. All winning games are winnable, and you get points for them, if you remember correctly. All right. Dude, G.I. Jogger is trash. At least he's not in last this time. He's got to win eventually, right? If I bet on him every time, he'll eventually win one. Dr. Slump is just gags. Aw, oh, dude, the Green Ambler again? Oh, G.I. Jogger got second. He's getting closer. You love gags? I love coffee. I'd, I'd be a little interested in reading some of his earlier, more comedy-based stuff. I mean, I like the silly aspects of early Dragon Ball. All right, am I screwing up betting on this guy now? Oh yeah, this is this is nice, like six-hour-old coffee from earlier this morning. Nice and room temperature, the way I like it. The second I don't bet on GI Jogger, he's gonna win. You like cold coffee? I don't mind it. All right, do I stop betting on GI Jogger? Everyone else is winning multiple races. It seems like it's usually the Green Ambler. I feel like the game's messing with me. I get, I'm gonna bet on the Green Ambler. He's literally won half the races. Watch GI Jogger win now. We want GI. O's? Jose, oh, okay. Look, I switched to Green Ambler and he's out to an early lead again. That dude is just fast. I won. You were right on the money. I'll put 20 silver points on your card. Hey. 
So I can get more points by guessing again. <laughs> the Tent of Horrors. Spend your silver points here. Put your bravery to the test. Ah, uh, why not? Let's check out the Tent of Horrors. Welcome to Norstein Beckler's Tent of Horrors. The spine dangling show is about to start. How many silver? Hmm. What do I get up to spend 80, I wonder? We'll start with 10. I'm Biggs. I'm w Biggs and Wedge? What? I'm Piet. One is Biggs? I think he's in the middle. Dang it. That was hard. Okay. <laughs> Let's try again. Now that I know what I'm doing, I think I can win that one. If we knew who we were going to have to pick out of the lineup, it'd be easier. I could keep an eye on one of them. It's hard to keep an eye on all of them. All right. I'm going to watch Biggs. Full 180. You watch Wedge. And, uh, Luco, you watch Piet. That's what we're going to do. Luco, which one's Piet? Middle is Biggs. <laughs> he wasn't watching. Maybe he's on the left. I know he's not in the middle. I'm gonna go left. Dang it! Luco, you dropped the ball. There's a big war. I looked over and saw them cross over. That's mean. You wanna try I'm out of points now. I have to go get more points. Hey, I know you. Ugh. Girl, ouch. Just slapped her butt when she got knocked down. I'm so sorry, are you okay? Uh-oh, my pendant. Oh no, my pendant. Don't tell me I lost it. Thank goodness, my pendant. I know it doesn't look like much, but it has a lot of sentimental value. May I have it back? Oh, it's so tempting to say no, but I gotta be a good boy so I can win the trial. Thank you. You must live in this town. I came to see the fair. Awfully boring wandering around alone, though, isn't it? Hey, why don't we walk around together for a while? Wouldn't that be great? If only it was that easy to pick up women. Yahoo! This will be fun. Told you my name, did I? It's, uh, um... Marl. Marl. Did you go... For the thing first. Carl! Marl, and your Chrono, what a nice name. Well, pleased to meet you, Chrono. Come on, let's enjoy the fair. Uh, I got the girl first. I'm remembering some of the things you're not supposed to do, even though it's been so long. I remember you don't go to the pendant first, and I remember I'm not not supposed to eat that guy's lunch somewhere. There's a lunch somewhere that I usually eat that I need to not eat. My kitty ran away. I'll find your kitty. Ah, uh, that's the guy's lunch, I think. All right, I won't eat it. My dear old wife made that lunch for me. Always the highlight of my day. It gives me that extra oomph, but I'm starting to feel worn down. Oh, it's tempting. Being a jerk at the fair is more fun. All right, kitty. You brought back my kitty. Thank you. Bruno, you're so sweet. Oh, yeah. He wants me. Drinking contest. Step right up. Press A as fast as you can. 
Wait, which button's A? Wow, five silver points for drinking eight cans of something? Uh, what's up here, I wonder? Oh yeah, the dancing. Catchy rhythm. You can dance along with YX, right bumper, and left bumper. Historic dance, entrancing, isn't it? Worn out from running around and watching this dance give me energy. Maybe I'll let the um, cave woman on my team this time. I don't think I've ever had her on my team. Go straight ahead if you want to try your hand against Luko's bipedal robot battler, Gato. You can win several points if you beat him. <laughs> by Snoo Snoo. I don't know who's good in this game, and I'm not sure it matters. I don't remember this game being especially hard. Ayla's the best DPS in the game. That's the that's the cave woman. They call me Gato. I have metal joints. If you can beat me up, you'll earn 15 points. What attack we got? How nothing. I guess I just hit the attack button. It's my only option. Luca, you stupid robots beating me up. Dude, I love that she uh hits him with the butt of her crossbow if he's too close to shoot. That's so cool. That's a really nice touch. Gato's called Gonzalez in JP. <laughs> oh no, I have lost, and it seems you've won. Here are your 15 points. Now, wasn't that fun? She made a singing and fighting robot. That's actually pretty impressive, Luco. So we got, like, 20 points, sir. How much did we get for the drinking contest? Are those the only three ways to get points? Dude, getting 80 points for that, uh... For that thing, that's a lot of points. That would take a while. Do I care enough? Super fighting robot. Do I go for 80 points to, uh... See what that's about? But oh, what's this? Line up with the bell and press the button when you're ready. Judge your distance carefully, then press A once more. One silver point? Oh my. You can come back here later. Oh, that's true. You're right. War against the Fiend Lord 400 years ago. You should be thankful things are so peaceful now. All right, yeah, well, let's move on then. That's a good point. Think I talked to these people? Oh, ho, ho, there's nothing like a good fair. Say, have you heard the gossip? No. Well, just between us, I heard that the king is tearing his hair out over his tomboy of a daughter. Just once, I'd like to meet her and see how wild she really is. <laughs> Did I miss anything cool? Any experts in this game that I, I should check out before I move on? I feel like I ate it up. It's not that big. Ayo. Preparations are still underway. Enjoy yourself in the square for a while and check back. Oh, they don't want me to go forward yet. Looks like I have 21 points. Would I like to exchange 10 silver points for 50 gold? I can just give up points for money? All right. Do it again. Maybe I'll buy a better sword if I can afford it. I think I can. It was pretty cheap. You need to check the... Oh, you can check it without eating it? I was afraid if I interacted with it, I'd eat it automatically. All right, so I'll go from 8 damage to 10. Why not?
Nice clean menus. I don't know if they I don't know if they redid the menus from the original. I don't remember, but if these were redone for like mobile, they look good. They work well. Hmm. <laughs> Is there any chance you could talk that young lady into selling her pendant to me? No. Nice try, old man. <laughs> He's trying to get me in trouble. Is it a DS? I forgot this got a DS port. I forgot about that. See? Luco, you made me eat the lunch! Oh, man. Luco, I was being so good. Got him. <laughs> Dang it. I'm glad they kept the pixel text. Unlike the original launch of the Final Fantasy Pixel remakes, they had this god-awful smooth font that clashed hard. Sorry. You know, I a lot of people complained about the original text, and I agree. Once they... Once they, um, or, like, added back in the pixelated text, it does look better. But I didn't think the original text was that big of a deal. I thought people blew that way, way out of proportion on the pixel remasters. I liked them from launch. The, the text really didn't, didn't bother me. Hmm. Oh, hey. All right. You savage. I did not mean to eat that poor old man's lunch. Is he going to be, like, sad about it now? Oh, it's back. Well, good thing she gave him several lunches. Dang it. So slow, Marl. Marl. Well, Luco, I still blame you. I got a... Chat's fault. Oh, well, that's going to show up in YouTube as well, and that's not going to make any sense there. <laughs> you were doomed from the start. You're watching Llamas with Hats? I rewatch Llamas with Hats probably like twice a year. It's just so brilliant. Simply, I missed part of the text. Whoops. Simply hop up here. Hey, there's Luco. And you'll be teleported here. This fantastic machine is the masterwork of my beautiful and brilliant daughter, Luco. You haven't seen it in a couple years. It holds up. It's very, very funny. What does teleport mean? Luco invented this thing? Wonder what will go wrong this time. This contraption is supposed to transport objects in the blink of an eye? Give it a try, kid. Oh, it's you, Chrono. Chrono. I was wondering when you'd show up. Nobody wants to try my telepod. Would you be so kind? Oh. Oh, this will be fun. I'll watch you try it out. Top up onto the left pod. Ugh, I don't like this. System activated. Initiating energy transfer. Ooh, amazing. That would be amazing. I wouldn't trust it. It worked. Unbelievable. That looks like fun. I want to try it too. Hmm? Chrono, when did you manage to pick up a cutie like her? Hey, back off, Luke. Oh, she's mine. This is rigged. All right, isn't it, Chrono? Just wait right here. Don't run off on me. Behold, ladies and gentlemen, as this vision of loveliness steps aboard the machine. Hey, uh, the Bond, you might be a little old for her. Hee <laughs> I'll be right back. Sure about this? There's still time to change your mind. A lesbian now, Gladge. No way, I'm not afraid.
And we'll give her a great big hand when she teleports from the platform. Don't they say that technically, I think it's like mostly a nerdy Star Trek argument, but technically, you go through a teleporter and you die. Like, you're disintegrated and then, like, a new you is actually rebuilt rather than you actually being transported. So, really, she's dying right now. And I'm a new chrono at this point. Initiating energy transfer. <laughs> You've never heard that, Luco? What's happening? My pendant. It's... Oh? Luco, you ruined everything. This is like that time you made me eat that guy's lunch. I never heard that. Does teleporting hurt? Well, I mean, teleporting's not real, so I mean, it's all theoretical. But Star Trek nerds love discussing theoretical stuff. Luco, she's not reappearing. Well, all right, as you can see, the girl has vanished before your very eyes. Show's over, folks. Move along. Nothing to see here. What just happened, Luco? Where is she? Does teleporting hurt in Star Trek? No. No, it's it's a perfectly normal thing that they do every day. The way she disappeared, that couldn't have been the telepod. The way that rift appeared and the way her pendant seemed to be reacting to it, something else must have caused it. But the thing is, the, the person that comes out of the teleporter wouldn't know. Because what it would do is it would... They would have all of their memories up to the moment where they were disintegrated and then rebuilt elsewhere. So, like, they wouldn't they wouldn't know they were a new self. But yeah, they may have just disintegrated and that they're like a brand new person. What are we supposed to do now? Is there any way we can help her? The girl's face was so familiar. I know I've seen her somewhere. <laughs> I mean, it's just a theory, a Star Trek theory. Hmm, I guess we gotta go save Marl. Oh, you're going after her. What a fine lad. <laughs> Jay Theory. The only way. I don't know where that hole leads, but we've got no other choice. That's what she said. Let's just hope it opens up again. Well, it's worth a shot. That pendant seems to be the key, so hang on to it. Chrono, and brace yourself. Alright, what do we got here? Stargate she won't even acknowledges the original person, if effectively obliterated and rebuilt down to the atoms at the de destination. Technically, the instructions are sent, not the person or something like that. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So yeah, teleporters are scary, and I, I wouldn't want to use one even if they were real. Initiating energy transfer. But Chrono's too much of a chad to worry about that. Boost the power output. Roger. Or I need more power. I think we did it. Good luck, Chrono. I'll follow you as soon as I figure out what we're on. Ooh, we get to like either my probably my second favorite track soon, I think. I think this time period, when you go out on like the main map, has that really somber, kind of sad song. It's so good. Frog Steam is still number one, but I think this is number two. Well, once we get out of here. All right, let's find Marl. Correct. All right. Glad we bought that better sword. That probably makes this part a lot quicker. I remember thinking that this was, like, so groundbreaking, like, the way the scripted fights, like, all happen so naturally in this game. Blue butthead little guys. 
over the years, I've come to really appreciate um, random encounters. I know that that's not a popular opinion these days. People hate random encounters. Ooh, leveled up. Uh, but I like this as like a one-off game. But overall, my preference is generally random encounters over like monsters showing up on the world map. Power glove. It was groundbreaking. Fair enough. Headband or power glove. We lose one speed for two strength. That seems fair. I don't hate them if they're not SMT1 frequent. I just beat SMT1. I gotta tell you, I, was, I wasn't I was bothered by the encounter rate. I loved that game. I had so much fun with the first Shin Megami Tensei. I gotta play the second now. I might even replay the first because I, I enjoyed it that much that I think it might be worth replaying. Although I already got I, what I think is generally considered the best ending. I think I get the canon ending of SMT1, so I may not bother. I got the true neutral ending. Which I think is... That's certainly the ending that leads into SMT2. That game was really fun. All the, okay, technically, you say that with most games, all the endings are canon. SMT1's kind of the exception there. Because that's the only one with a direct sequel, so you know what happened to the world after. Did the devs say that? Oh, this song, dude. This is my second favorite track in the game. I love this track. So good. When I played this back in the day, I would just like jam out in this world map for a while, just let it play. Yes, Fat Mario, this song's awesome. Too simplistic? You're too simplistic. This was a Super Nintendo game, Fat Mario. The, the musical compositions aren't going to be that complex. I want to insult you by uh, bringing up some, like, Zoomer music, but I honestly don't know what Zoomers listen to. Lil Uzi or something? I don't remember if it was SMT2's Maniacs or SMT1. Anyway, I need to play SMT2. I don't know, is that not a real person, Lil Uzi? I feel like it is. I don't know what people listen to these days. Where are you, you say? So you some sort of simpleton? Even a halfwit should know this land for Guardia. Our kingdom wages war with the Fiend Lord's army day and night, fighting to restore the realm's peace. Pray, tell you knew that much at least. No. Truly, you're a wayfarer then. I suppose you might not know if that's the case. I <laughs> call you a simp? Bear, have you gone mad? This is no time for mirth and mummery. This is what I feel like trying to talk to Zoomers today. I'm talking to them like this guy, and the Zoomers don't even know what I'm talking about with mirth and mummery. Club, Club Penguin game day music is better than this. Oh my. Praise be, they found Queen Lean wandering up in the canyon. She'd been missing for so long, I feared the worst. You must be back at the castle by now, getting some much-needed rest. Fiend Lord's army laid waste to Zenon Bridge. We've lost our only road to the southern continent. Toma, you're an outsider too? The name's Toma. I'm an explorer, and if you could spare ten gold to buy this round, I'll be a storyteller too. Okay, buy him a drink. Your mug. Cheers, friend. Well then, a promise is a promise. It's about the missing queen. My travels have taken me to the cathedral in the western wood, and there's something most peculiar about that place. It's only a hunch, but... Beg your pardon, they found Queen Lean in the canyon? Hmm, it seems my suspicions were misplaced. Oh, how suspicious. Let's get a room. So, I don't know any of the Club Penguin music, Fat Mario, so I can't technically argue against that, but I don't believe you. Sometimes simple is good. Calling something simplistic is not... Like, that's not even... Like, a criticism. 
That's just a statement of fact about it. I'm Banta, the village blacksmith. Forging this bell at the king's behest as a symbol of his love for Queen Lean. Ah, it's Lean's bell. That's cool. Queen's vanishing act had me wondering if all this work would be for naught. After all, what's the bell without the queen, eh? But it seems they found her in the canyon up north. She's back at the castle now, and I'm back to work. It can be good, but it can't be better than complex ones? Of course it can. My husband wants a daughter, but clever and fair. So, I'll tell you a little story, Fat Mario. I'm gonna educate you a little bit here. I'm sure you may not know much about their music because you're young, but you're familiar with the band The Clash at the very least, right? You know The Clash? P-L-A-S-H? Very, very famous band. You don't know the band The Clash. London Calling. Should I stay or should I go? They're like one of like the earliest... They're like proto-punk almost. Millennial Bear, here, have you been in the cups? Our kingdom's only 600 years old. King Guardia the 21st still reigns, last I checked. Okay, you know that song, Fat Mario. So, that song was basically written almost as like an insult to a critic that had called their music too simplistic. Should I stay or should I go now? Uh, incredibly simple song. There's almost nothing going on in it. They purposely wrote it that way, as to be as simple as possible, and then turn it into one of like the biggest hits. Like That's like a platinum song that people still know today, and it's from 70s, probably? Like, the point being, simple is, is not a negative. Purely a statement of fact. Yeah, Seven Nation Army, incredibly simple song. So you've a mind to buy some weapons and join the fight against the Fiend Lord's army, have you? Wonderful. What <laughs> being we're ancient. Yo, what's up, Madman? I don't know if you've been talking or just got here. Sometimes I don't notice if the names change in the chat. Remember to equip the weapons you buy. What do you got? What do you got? I already got a bronze blade. Do I buy better armor? I'm at 17. These do the same amount of defense overall, and the helm's cheaper. Let's buy a helm. It's Schloperd. Schloppenberg. I think I'm lost there. I don't know what's going on there in chat. Hmm, what's in here? The Manolia Cathedral. How do I save? Okay, you can save any time in this game. I should probably save. Also, this song's awesome, Fat Mario. That's the point. That that conversation got lost in the weeds there. That's a great song. Pray for the peace of our world, wherever so devout. Tee <laughs> Well, that's a little suspicious. O oh, great lord and master, deliver your judgment upon the weak and undeserving. Disagree. Can't save in dungeons. Okay. Then we might reclaim the future for ourselves in your name. Oh, how delicious. I mean, delightful looking you are. All right. Gonna go out on a limb here and say there might be something wrong with these nuns. Why not say a prayer for yourselves? He he he. Vampires, maybe? Hmm. Let's go check the castle. They're just really into young boys. Uh. I want none of it. Nice. I see what you did there. Oh, come on, Pat Mario. Not cool. I think this is because I was watching him play Valorant the other day and kept calling him bad.
free TP. I don't know what TP does. Oh, wait, I forgot I got a tech I haven't used. Oh, I have two techs. I remember Cyclone. I don't know when... You don't even remember that? Whenever the last day you streamed was. Mm -mm, Sunday, I think? Strength Capsule. Yo, Justin! Welcome back. Chrono Trigger Best JRPG. It's up there. It's way up there. I, it, so JRPGs are my very favorite genre. So I don't think I could give Chrono Trigger the top spot. But it's way up there. That's true. I did... I did make fun of you for ending the stream early. But, uh... I didn't know that playing another round was going to be like a full hour. Valorant games go on for a long time. My favorite JRPG ever is Final Fantasy IX. That's my number one. But Chrono Trigger's on the short list. Probably top five. It's short, but if I remember right, it has a it has a bunch of endings, and you kind of have to play through it multiple times. It isn't flawless, but it hides its shortcomings really well. Hmm. AFC dating sim number two. Uh, what's a strength capsule? Permanently raises strength by one. Sick. That goes to Chrono, since he'll obviously always be on the team. Why not? Oh, there's a button to turn off running? Interesting. I do be having more. I just remember that I'm pretty sure I got all the endings before. This was the first game with New Game Plus. Very cool. That is a cool bit of uh, trivia that I didn't know. Actually, no, that's not true. Maybe it coined the term New Game Plus, but there's, like, regular NES games with, like, New Game Plus equivalents. Like, I just played Castlevania the other day. When you beat Castlevania, the first one, which is, like, an early NES game, it automatically starts over uh, in hard mode. So that's, that's New Game Plus. But I think this one did a thing where, like, you carry over some stats and stuff into a new game, right? Like, you carry over equipment, maybe. I don't, I don't know what carries over. But stuff carries over into a replay. Holt, who goes there? I've not seen your face before, and those outlandish clothes wouldn't be one of the Fiend Lord's agents, would we? You hate random encounters in old Final Fantasy games? Oh, Justin, I'm hard disagree. I understand the complaint. It's fair. Carry all your items, and the game doesn't really change beyond a few new. Oh, new super bosses! Ooh, yeah, I'm a I'm a random encounter defender, but I understand people not liking them. That chance. Look at him. That boy's not built to lift a sword, let alone serve in the Fiend Lord's army. I <laughs> suppose you're right. Now run along, boy, before we're forced to lock you up in the towers. Stop that at once! Queen Lean. So here's my here's my short pitch. It's short. I wouldn't call Castlevania 3 New Game Plus since it doesn't offer any change in content at all or carrying items. Fair. My short pitch for random encounters. Um when you can see the enemies on the screen. I feel compelled to fight every single one of them anyway. I never avoid enemies. I run at them and I attack every enemy I see. So it doesn't really make like a big difference anyway. Like random encounters are almost better. I'm more likely to go straight where I need to go with random encounters. Maybe other people don't feel that compulsion, but since I do anyway, I don't know. I don't really have less fights. I just see them coming. You don't run for battles. But, your majesty, there's something strange about his look. You refuse to obey my orders? No, I. Forgive me, my lady. Please enter.
Yeah, nice try, you dumb soldier. Can't stop me. I envy you. Let's go look around instead of going straight to her. Downstairs, if you wish to rest, I should do that. Oh, stretch. I saw it this time. Ah, uh, thank you. I did need a stretch. Dude, every track in this game, every track in this game kills it. The music is just so excellent. Who did the music in this? The music person was famous too, right? I don't remember who it was. Like, I know I'm mostly playing this because of Toriyama right now, but... I know that the director was legendary. I think the music guy was really well known too. And then Toriyama. If only Cyrus were here. You've heard of him, surely. No. You don't know of the great Sir Cyrus? From what depraved village do you hail? Oh, it was Nobuo Oematsu. No wonder it's so great. Yeah, he's he's the legend. He's the goat. Okay, I knew it was someone great. So what, he was doing this like between like what, Final Fantasy VI-ish? This was around the same time as Final Fantasy VI, I think. Long ago, a vile beast named Yakra lurked in the western forest. People were loath to wander near, but since the cathedral was built there, no monsters have been seen. It seems the place is truly blessed. And Yasunori Mitsuda, according to Google, wasn't aware. A co-composer. Mmm, Mitsuda, that's familiar. Which one is he? What did he do? Is he just other... I mean, it's a square... Squaresoft game, right? So I imagine he... Was he another Final Fantasy guy? Enon Bridge is our last line of defense. It must hold, even should it mean our lives. You're the Queen's friends, are you not? Talk to the maid if you need rest. Sir Cyrus was commander of the knighthood, sworn to protect the king and queen with his own blade. Ten years ago, he and a lone friend departed on a quest, and no one has heard from them since. What a relief. Now that the queen's been found, we can refocus our efforts on the war. Oh, Xenogear, Xenoblade, Shadow Hearts, Sea of Stars, dude. The Xenoblade? Xenoblade music, man. If you want one JRPG franchise I like almost as much as I like Final Fantasy. The Lord's troops are strangely quiet. Something must be a foot. I need to play Xenoblade Chronicles 3. I love the first two. I think I'm gonna do Xenoblade Chronicles on stream eventually. Because I've got them on Switch now. Now I can stream my Switch. The only reason I haven't already is it's they're so long. Like, if I start streaming those, like I'll be streaming it for like months. It seems like that holds me off. That's a massive commitment. I feel like just the first Zeta Blade Chronicles is like a hundred hour game, if I remember right. It's been a while. Suda's really good for ambient music, but he needed to help with the battle music, so they signed Uematsu to help him. Well, they did an amazing job finding holes below. Did any of them work on Chrono Cross? Because like I said, as much as I'm praising the music in this game, I like the music in Chrono Cross even more. Uematsu only did a few songs. It was mostly Masuda. You can see it at the upper left corner of the table left. Mitsuda is all of Chrono Cross. No wonder, dude. Mitsuda is amazing. Dying of hunger. Wait, dude, I got myself stuck. Oh, no, I didn't. Thank goodness. Thought I was stuck. That scared me. Yeah, I'll probably... I'll probably play Chrono Cross on stream also after this. Might as well do this whole franchise. It's only two games, really. I guess three if you count Radical Dreamers, which I've never played. The Fiend Lord's troops had better watch out for us. Master of Kitchens is there in his post. His cooking is worthy of at least three stars. Mm -hmm. Bring me food, wench. Salad, stew, or roast? I want that roast. Boy, I'm waiting for more RE from you. I do. I have Resident Evil 3 ready to go. I already got the HD 
seamless HD, everything's ready. I can start it up anytime. HP and MP restored, nice. There's too many games to play. Why are there so many good video games? I always thought if I started streaming, I'd run out of games to play, but it's like the exact opposite. Like, I cannot stream all the games I want to stream. What's up, guys? Speaking of, I have an 8 p.m. meeting and will probably stream around 9 tonight. Shattered Limit, I will be there. I'm looking forward to it. More uh, Resident Evil 1? Or did you finish that one and you're moving on? Where's our food and drink? Oh, Commander. Beg pardon. It's not quite ready. One more session with Chris before starting RE2. Nice. I need none of my mods watch my stream anymore. My mods all like bailed on me. So I can't be like, hey, someone shout out Shattered Limit. I gotta do it myself. I will do it. I prefer being lazy. There we are. Guys, check out Shattered Limit if you're interested in Resident Evil at all. He's really fun to watch. He's super knowledgeable. Hmm, I think I've lost my appetite. I have no stomach for meat braised in cowardice. See <laughs> that my men are fed. And sorry uh, on the YouTube side, I, I don't have a working bot over there, so it like... That shoutout's not gonna work there. Make this Jake Hawker's guy a mod. If anybody, if anybody that hangs out in the stream a lot is interested in being a mod, I'll mod you right now, but you don't have to be. Being a mod can be more annoying than fun. I don't mod for any channels. Well, that's not true. I'm a mod in Fat Mario's channel, but I don't actually do any modding there. He just made me mod. Sounds like a lot of work. If, if people... Ooh, the Chancellor. If, uh... If you're a, a busy chat and people misbehave, it's probably a lot of work. In smaller streams like mine, it's more like, hey, can you shout out, can you shout out Luco for me? Or like, if a bot sneaks in, ban the bot for me. I'm to understand that you played some role in helping rescue my lady wife. Are you dead of gratitude? Yes, it was the lady wife. Might you know what befell Lean? She's been acting rather oddly since her return. I'm a baby streamer at the moment. Probably no need for one to see it. I don't really need one either. It's just kind of nice. Seems to have lost the coral hairpin she always wore. She always treasured that thing so. Forgive me, you must be tired. Please rest in the knight's quarters down the stairs to the left. I'll speak to the commander. Yeah, no, I don't... I, I Technically, I have two mods. Like the lines in the kitchen. Queen's chamber is above. The king's chambers are atop the tower ahead. Can I go to the? I want to go to the king's room. Oh, nice hundred gold, Robin the. Robin the kingdom. Where the guy says the queen is asking for her ice cream, and he doesn't know what that even is. I love that line. Yeah. Look at this creep. Hmm. What do you want? Be gone from here. Just between you and I, the Chancellor has been acting strangely these days. I've spied him sneaking out the castle time and time again. Yikers. The only thing I've noticed out of the ordinary is of late is that the Queen's personal guard, that froggish creature, has not been around. Yeah, they say a curse turned him into a frog, but I question the truth of that. No doubt he's been one of the Fiend Lord spies. How dare you talk about frog like that? How dare you? People think the Chancellor's behavior strange, but I don't find it troubling at all. The Chancellor is a man of strong faith. Why, he goes to Manolia Cathedral every day to pray. Bronze armor? Oh, free armor, dude. I'm so glad that I explored. Nice. 
Dude, that's way better than my Hype Tunic. That's a huge buff. This is another reason, by the way, that I don't usually stream JRPGs on stream. I'm a slow player that likes to talk to everyone and explore everywhere. So I play them kind of slow. I, I don't zoom through them quick. So hopefully it's not too dull. Ocean. Her Majesty awaits you. But over 10 years since Her Majesty first came to this castle, but she's scarce aged a day. In fact, she looks even younger now than she did before her disappearance. You're the one who saved our queen. I expected one a bit more dashing. Dude, I'm dashing. Ah, there you are. Please leave us. I need to have words with this man in private. As you wish, Your Majesty. They're pretty quick here to let, like, a strange man be alone in the queen's bedchambers with her. Come nearer. Don't be shy. Hee <laughs> hee. Well, you didn't I, Chrono. Oh, it's Marl. Me, but everyone keeps calling me lean for some reason. Glad you came. We were only together for that short time at the fair, but somehow I knew you'd come for me. Thank you, Chrono. What's happening? I feel I feel like I'm being torn apart. See, that's what happens when you go through a teleporter. It tears you apart. Help me, Chrono. I'm scared. It's like I'm dying. Please, Chrono, help. Ooh, that's awful. Imagine seeing someone scream that in front of you and then disappear. What a horrible thing. I'd have PTSD from that. Hey guys, everything's fine. Don't go check. You didn't engage in any untoward behavior, did you? Hmm, no. Did the matter? Her Majesty say no, not herself, no. Truly, perhaps I worry too. All right, I'm out of here. All right, Chrono. Oh, it's it's Luco. <laughs> Part points and disappearance in the remake, in the inevitable remake. Oh, dude, they're gonna remake this, aren't they? They're gonna re they're so gonna remake Chrono Trigger. There's no way they don't. This game's too well known, and they're out of ideas. Woo, you're okay. Did you find the girl? She what? She disappeared? You don't think they will? I think they will. Hmm, it's just as I thought then. I knew I recognized her from somewhere. You seem to be in Guardia, but it looks a lot older than the Guardia we're from. Look at Luco figuring everything out. Not this decade, at least, maybe right. But it'll happen. It's inevitable, I think. They must have mistaken that girl for her ancestor. After all, that girl is our Princess Nadia. Marl, that is, Princess Nadia is a descendant of Queen Lean. They're gonna remake the other Final Fantasies that don't need it first. Yeah, the Final Fantasy IX remake that is so heavily rumored as, like, it has to be real, right? It's too heavily rumored to not be real. Uh, that's a weird choice. Even though it's my favorite Final Fantasy, it's a weird choice. Princess Nadia is a descendant of Queen Lean. Six or eight makes way more sense to me. Six might be hard because it would just be too big. Queen Lean was kidnapped and someone was supposed to have gone and saved her, but now history has been changed. Wasn't there going to be a Final Fantasy IX animated show thing? Yeah, like a Netflix show or something, right? I've heard about that. Hmm. 
you want the nine remake shattered limit final fantasy 9 is literally my favorite game so i'm not mad about it it just seems like a weird choice it seems un unnecessary <laughs> mara looks so much like the queen that they probably called off their search when she appeared but if the real queen is killed Dude, that, that thing sticking its tongue out at us, that's such a Toriyama thing. I, I bet they didn't even ask Toriyama to do that. I bet when he was, like, designing these and coming up with things they could do, I wouldn't be surprised if that was literally Toriyama's idea. Like, he sketched that out. I mean, Goku in Dragon Ball made that exact face. Marl will never have existed, but there might still be enough time if we can save the Queen. History as we know it should remain unchanged. Something must happened, happen to the queen in this era if she isn't rescued, and if something happens to her, her descendant, Princess Nadia, will never come into being. The sprites weren't made by him, but they just made it because of him. Well, I know the sprites weren't made by him, but I wouldn't be surprised if he drew, made his drawings, you know, in several poses and stuff. We have to find the real queen. Alright, Luca, let's go find the queen. What do you have on you? You're level 2. Air gun, hide cap, padded vest. Reveals HP of enemies? I feel like speed's more useful than that. What about Dragon Quest Twelve? So, I know that what I've heard, I guess, I shouldn't say I know, because I don't know anything. I've heard that Toriyama's part in Dragon Quest Twelve would have long been completed by now. That game's got to be deep into development. Like, deep into it. Uh, probably everything he needed to do was done like a year or more ago, I would bet. But I don't know. They're like super tight lipped about that game. Who knows what's going on? I'll be there day one whenever it comes out. Dragon Quest XI was a masterpiece, in my opinion. It's, it's my favorite Dragon Quest game. I love Dragon Quest XI. <laughs> Birdies. Do you think development hell? I kind of doubt it. They've made so many of those, right? Like, I think they just had they've just had other big releases. They're taking their time. That's my guess. You never know. 11's pretty good, but I love 3 and 5 too much. I've not played 3 or 5, so... My my Dragon Quest games to choose from for my favorite is pretty limited. I've, I've beaten 1, 2, 8, and 11. I think those are the only four that I've actually beaten. Did I go rest at the inn? I've only played 1, 4, and 11. I'm gonna stay at the end. Why not? It's not expensive. Uh, well, an eight. Maybe I can buy something good for Marl. Or Marl. I meant uh, Luco. Ooh, the pea shooter for ooh eight hundred. That's too much. Sorry, Luco. I need you a bronze helm. Don't watch the Dragon Quest movie, it's based on five, and it kinda sucks, okay? I enjoyed it, lol, but I can tell you're a bit of a diehard, so I get it. Hmm. Oh look, you take your hat off when you're in bed, Luco. That was adorable. I never noticed that. She heard you she put her hat on when she got out. Hmm. All right, let's go. First real dungeon. Yeah, I was enjoying that until the BS at the end. I don't even know what you're talking about. I watched a little bit of, um... Die? Dragon Quest Di Die? The Adventure of Die or something? I watched, like, the first few episodes of that, and it seemed meh. It seemed Okay. Oh, what do we got here? 
What did you find? A hairpin. Ooh, the queen's hairpin. Hey, this is Guardia's royal crest. Oh, those sketchy nuns. Oh, they were weird snake monsters. Cyclone. Ooh, they actually have a lot of health. That's a little scary. Oh, quit slowing me. Holy crap, they have a ton of health. There we are. I, I have no clue what you're talking about. <laughs> so, I disagree. They just spam and slow. At least they're not doing much damage to me, I guess. Little kid, nothing matters, and then you have a dad, and your dad is like, bro, you need to be a cool guy. Now I'm even more lost. Alright, third one should die here with this hit, I hope. Alright, cool. Down to just one now. Easy. Easy peasy. Eventually, I'll play through every Dragon Quest. The problem with playing through every Dragon Quest is it feels like there's no definitive version of most of them, which makes it annoying to play through. Like, now it's easy to play through Final Fantasy because I feel like there is a, like, definitive version of every game in the series, which just doesn't exist for Dragon Quest. Flamethrower. Fire War World Dual Tech. Nice. You think that the, the I have heard many people strongly disagree with the DS ones being definitive. Plus, nothing's definitive with stupid two screens. It's annoying. It's annoying to emulate. It's annoying to play on a handheld. You wasn't expecting that. Heck. Oh, it's Frog. Oh, I love Frog. We get to hear his theme now. I'm just saying, the queen? Queen's lair lies within, it would seem. Will you accompany me? You, you're a... Rona, it's a giant talking frog. You know I can't stand frogs. The PS version has the most content, but the PS2 versions of DQ5 has better music. Exactly, there's, there's no definitive version. I suppose I ought not expect you to trust me, looking as I do. Very well, do as you please, but I must save the queen. Shattered Limit played the SNES ports for a couple, but never got too far. And PS1 ports of JRPGs annoy me because of the load times. Just like Chrono Trigger. The PS1 version is the version of Chrono Trigger I played. There are also the Android re-releases, which aren't bad, but they don't have animations. Correct. And I think they don't have in some of the games, like, party dialogue, which is a big problem. Wait. You don't seem like a bad frog. I mean, person. I mean, um... Should we do frog? Yeah, we're gonna go with the frog. Frog's the best. Get over my aversions to slimy or moist-skinned creatures. Older games don't have any party dialogue. Yeah, but I remember once they added them, which I don't know, might have been like four, I think. Uh, the Android releases don't have them. So, what's your name? Name is Frog. Frog will suffice. Make flexes. Alright, nice to meet you, Frog. You as well. This room must conceal a hidden passage. I'll just search every corner. Dude, I love how Frog ops. That's so great. Frog's the best. Dude, he's level 5, too.
it's the Japanese Doom. Pretty much. Like I said, I played Quest Dragon Quest 1 and 2. I've beaten both of those. I even beat Dragon Quest 1 on stream, but it was not my first time playing it. I started to on stream. I did not beat it on stream because, man, I forgot how not great that game can be. I don't think Dragon Quest 2 is a bad game, but I think it's kind of weak as far as the series goes. Dang, dude, 72 damage, Frog? Was that a crit? Or do you always hit that hard? Dragon Quest 2's Garbo IMO? I don't think it's garbage. It's alright. We even call it kind of cringe. Yay, level up. Do I heal when I level? I do not. I don't heal when I level. Hmm, I don't know if there's rooms in the dungeon where I can heal or not. But I, I don't want to waste my items. Hmm. You can heal at save points. Okay. With tents and such. Oh, I don't know if I have any of those. Alright, so I should probably start carrying those in the future. We do not help. We're fine. Well, eh, Luke goes at 44, but that's fine. Nice crit, Chrono. Your turn, Frog. Give me a crit. Nice. Man, I love watching numbers go up. JRPGs are the absolute best, dude. Nothing makes me happier than leveling up and seeing numbers get bigger in JRPGs. Ooh. Absolutely love this genre. When I'm playing games not on stream, it's usually a JRPG. Aiden suit. Oh, that's a lot of defense. All right. Frog wearing. Hidden Naga bro. What did I just find? Ooh, uh oh. Hey, there are humans in here. Uh oh. Try and steal our bromide, will you? What the heck is bromide? Get him. Oh no. Combo! Fire whirl! Get him! What does Slurp do? Restore? Oh, you can restore HP! Frog, you're the best! Wow, that was damage right there. Whoa, that's a decent amount of healing, too. Alright, thanks, Frog. Bromide? That tongue do. Obviously, it heals you. Duh. Alright, what is that thing I found? Is that any equipable item? It's not showing up under items anywhere. What the heck? What did I pick up? What was that? I'm so confused. It's not in my inventory. They made Ayla aggressively bisexual in this game? Um, the, the cave woman? Ooh, Steel Saber. To explain why she kisses everyone and heals them. Oh, yeah, baby. 24 damage. What about Frog? What's he using? Frog Sword. So, do you heal people in this game by either kissing them or licking them?
Dang it, I should have had them attack different people. It was implied by sexual in the original text, but not the original localization. Ah, okay. So they changed the localization for this version, huh? Interesting. I'm okay with that if they change it to make it more accurate to the original intent. Crap. What? These snakes got a lot of health. Die, snake. Invincibility? Oh, Shattered. Took me a minute to figure out what you were saying there, Shattered. Chrono leveled up again. All right, man. You level up quick in this game. Well, maybe just early on. Whoa. <laughs> What's with the disguises? Hurry up and change. Don't need to be walking around like humans in here. I'm good. You guys got anything in here? Ugh, it's almost time for my shift. I hate pretending to be human. They're so smelly and repulsive. It's demeaning. Those ones we ate last time weren't so bad, and those two soldiers we just caught look plump and juicy. <laughs> Yakra's a genius. His plan to imprison the Chancellor and take on his role worked like magic. Now the Queen's ours, and the castle's in an uproar. This is rich. I don't think I'll pay my respects to the Fiend Lord statue before my shift starts. Follow this guy, clearly. What's going on here? Did you by chance come to save Queen Lean? Oh, you did. That's good to know. Uh... This is the most trappiest trap that ever trapped anyone. Oh, you came to rescue me. How kind of you, but I assure you there's no need. The master of this place, Yakra, is so very kind. I've decided to stay here. Please make yourselves at home, too. Oh, how good of you to come. I'm sure Yakra will be pleased. Please pass the time in here with us until he has a chance to come and greet you properly. Oh. Oh, great Magus. Magus the Great. Your eyes are brighter than the stars. Your flowing hair like waves atop the sea. Even those miserable sunny days abate when we feel your seething hate. Even brightened halls hold no fear just so long as you are near. They love Magus. It's O oh Lord Magus, you are our fiend lord and savior. Come join us in singing your funeral dirge. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, frog, you might need to do some healing. And damage. Ah, wait. Oh, I don't have enough. Oh, I don't can't fire. Wait, can I? I can't fire world. Yes. Yes, look at them all. Beautiful. Slurp Chrono. Oh, we wrecked these fools. Let's give Chrono a good slurp. Ooh, Luko Frog. Frog learned Slurp Slash. Earned X Strike Dual Tech. Guardian Bangle. And Speed Belt, huh? Stamina? What does Stamina do? I don't know what Stamina does. Does anyone know what it does? I don't know if I care about this. Hmm. Guardian Bangle seems like it should be really good. Hmm. I guess I won't equip it. I wish I knew what that did. Am 
Why did I come back here? Can't seem to interact with the statue of Magus. Oh, wait, what was that? Oh, it's just open thing. Yeah. Accessories don't boost defense directly, but they can boost stamina, thereby boosting defense. Boosting stamina with belts, rings, crests can be as profitable as boosting defense with armor or helmets. Plus, they only cost exploration time, not gold. Same with power and attack. Boosting power slash stamina can be better than boosting attack defense if you are nearly broke. Otherwise, go for the newer, shinier stuff. Okay. So it's basically the same thing. Okay. Thank you. Is there really nothing in here? Oh, wait. I'm confused. Why did I come back here? Guess I didn't need to. All right. Don't be in such a hurry to leave. Please take the time to enjoy yourself with us. Mwahaha. Uh oh. Let's fire. Let's try X Strike. Can I? Well, I can't hit multiple of them with it. Hmm. I can't hit everyone. Whatever. Oh, that's a lot of damage. Get shrekt. Yeah, he's guarding anything. All right. You can wait for them to align when you don't select your menu. Oh, that's true, but then I feel like I'm just wasting time. Back intruders, stop them. Frog, get slurping, bro. Can Frog, frog slurp himself? He can. Go well, slurp yourself, Frog. I want Chrono first, actually. Ooh, nice crit. These guys are just Ryu, but not hot? What? From Street Fighter? I'm confused. He can slurp himself. Look at that. <laughs> well, he did. He can and he did. Ooh, I'm poisoned. I don't like that. No me gusta el poisono. They're doing Tatsumaki Sen... Oh, are they? I didn't even notice the animations. Oh, man, I took a lot of damage in that fight. Does the poison stick? Okay, so the poison goes away at the end of the fight, it looks like. I guess I gotta use some potions. Can I... Can I just... Can I slurp between... Oh, I can use slurp! Dude, I can slurp even when we're not in a fight. That's great. Good job, Frog. You're our healer, apparently. You're a paladin. Should have brought some stuff. Ah, we're fine. We got Slurp to keep us alive. Don't hold on to your ethers. I think you can buy them. We'll see about that. There's one thing I do in JRPGs. It's never, ever use any of my resources. Ah, save point. Shelter. 
Sure. Well, we don't need it yet. We'll hold on to the shelter. Now we know where a save point is, and we can go use our shelter here if we need it. Hey. Hello, bat. Slide down the banister. That's great. Nice. Ooh, that guy's freaking a lot of health. Ow. So what does TP do exactly? Am I, do I unlock new techniques by gaining enough TP? Is that what's going on? I don't see that being tracked anywhere. Experience points for text. That's, oh. Huh? Do you guys not attack me? These guys are so chill. Thanks, guys. Ooh, wow, those bats hit kind of hard. Okay. I don't know if I care about leveling every character in this game, or if once I unlock the people I want, if I should just use them, like, all the time. Panacea, ocean, sign, no entry within. There's some way to open a secret door there. Ayla Frog is powerful. That's very likely who I will use. Ow. Ah, I don't know. All right. Kill the bat. That has too much health. Or he does too much damage, rather. Okay. We kill the Batman. Some bi rep, baby. I'm jealous of bi people. You have, like, twice as many options as everyone else. them i'm not gonna lie i don't actually know exactly what pansexual means thought it was the same as bi there's too many sexualities gold. Ooh, frog leveled up. We're getting lots of experience. Alright. Bisexual only cares about the two genders while pan people go for non-binary people as well. Okay. I see. Oh, hello. Little sleepy guy. No, stop that, you idiot. I said a million times. That one's just a decoy. Decoy? Thank you, Pastor. Oh, you must really think you're smart. Oh, I need to heal Chrono. Uh, Slurpin. Slurp Chrono Frog. I thought I was Pam, but turns out I wasn't. <laughs> Uh, 
Uh, Alright, let's use a shelter. We got a second one. Might as well. Might as well. Here we are. Give it a little save. I think we're almost to the end. Oh! Hey! Perfect. Please kill. Oh, that's a kill. All three of them. Nice. Easy peasy. Oh, why do you attack that one? Oh, whatever. People can get lost on sexuality because we just take it for granted? I mean, I guess? I don't really know what it means to take it for granted. Iron sword. That's... Ah, upgrade for frog. Hey. All right, I think that probably opened the hidden door up top. I'm guessing. All right. What's up, fellas? I think we're all pretty powered up now going through this dungeon. We sort of just shred through these guys at this point. For me, I thought everyone thought about it felt attraction the same way I do, but people are very different. Well, that's true. Sure. Yeah. Luko learned Hypno Wave. Hypno Wave? What's that do? Put all enemies to sleep. Or flamethrower, burn them in a direct line. Hmm. I wonder if Hypno Wave is good. The thing about moves like Hypno Wave is they usually don't work on boss characters, so they're kind of pointless. Because, like, I don't ever need to put regular enemies to sleep. Yeah, sleep's not useful in this game, but it's not surprised me. That's a thing that's normal in, you know, that's, as people say a lot of times, that's one thing that separates Shin Megami Tensei from other JRPGs. Like, status effects matter in those games, whereas in most, they really don't. I think it is really hard to balance. Need to get slow in haste. Chrono's leveled increased. Yay! Oh, that sounds like boss music. That is some buffs. You must prepare yourself, Queen Lean. It's time you bid farewell to this world. How dare you? Chancellor, you, how did you get in here? Frog. The real queen. Stats and debuffs, buffs and debuffs. Oh yeah, all that stuff's important in SMT. Flee, your majesty, we shall dispatch this fiend. Be careful. <laughs> There's no use in fighting. None of you will leave this place alive. Tolerable frog, let us see you hop your way out of this. Enough of this Chancellor charade. So I played the first SMT. I loved it. I love the vibes for SMT. It gets to me. It does. The original SMT has amazing vibes. That game is really cool. And uh, I played the PlayStation 1 remake of it. Which is basically identical to the Super Nintendo version, except, like, much higher frame rate. So, like, when you're going through the first-person sections, it doesn't, like, give me a headache from, like, the, like, three-frame transition for every movement. So then I tried to play SMT2, but the PlayStation 1 remake has never been translated. The only option was the Super Nintendo one, and it, and it really kind of hurt my eyes. 
which is the only reason I haven't played it yet. FPS and music, yeah. I really wish somebody would do an English translation of SMT2 and if, because right now there's only the Super Nintendo one. Chancellor transformed into Yakra. Oh no. Uh, wait. Mmm. Flamethrower? Are you weak to fire, maybe? That would be cool. 50 damage, not bad. Nice crit, frog. One second, I want to focus on the boss so I can't read what you're saying. I will check it shortly. X Strike? X Strike him, boys. We'll see how that does. 176. No idea how much health he has, but I feel like we're doing tons of damage. Just attack. Oh, I need to heal Chrono, maybe? Oh, yeah, I do. Brag. Oh, he's mad. He's mad. Ooh, don't die, Chrono. We gotta heal Chrono real bad. Uh. Slurp Chrono! Slurp him good! Okay, so yeah, he's... Ooh, he's beating the crap out of me. How's Fire Whirl? Well, you slurp yourself. 130. So I think that he... Yeah, so regular attacks, he, SMT, Shin Megami Tensei, Justin, really, really, like, uh, really, really good JRPGs. Hmm. Slurp yourself sounds so sus. Maybe a bit. Alright, we gotta... X-Strike, that did a lot of damage. I hope he dies soon. Alright, there we go. Yeah, go team. Fifty experience. So, Justin, do you know the Persona games? Like, Persona 5 and then the Persona 3 remake just came out? Bono Chrono learned Wind Slash. Luko's level increased. The Persona games are a spin-off of the mainline Shin Megami Tensei JRPG series. I like Persona games a lot as well, but I like regular Shin Megami Tensei even more. PSX version of SMT1 and SFC version of it. Uh, yeah, I know the SMT1 uh, is translated because that's the one I played. I played the PlayStation 1 version of SMT1. I wish that there would be an English translation of SMT2 and SMT if. Because right now only the Super Nintendo or Super Famicom versions are translated. Thank you, Frog. I knew you'd come to rescue me. And I, I played it and I loved it. And I might I might even stream it sometime if people were interested, because man, I really love that game. His Majesty awaits. Most anxiously, we should return to the castle. I thank you, Chrono and Luco, for all your aid. And I as well. Please accompany us to the castle. You will be most welcome guests. Such good victory music. Hey, it's the Chancellor. Persona is baby's first SMT, or SMT for YouTube viewers, as people say. That's not fair. Persona games are legitimately good games. I like them a lot. I just prefer SMT. Ew, my thanks. That monster stuffed me in there like a sack of coin. Oh, your majesty, I am undamaged, as you can see. Persona games are great, and I want to play through the whole Persona series at some point as well. Yes, let us be on our way. They're good, but I want to offend YouTube viewers. <laughs> you cannot know how I worried, Lean. We saved her. My first SMT Nocturne for PS2, but I very much prefer the Persona game. 
you've never played Persona or SMT. They're good, Justin. I would recommend either. Yakra, that vile beast impersonating me and kidnapping the queen. Persona got huge for good reason. They're really high quality games. Persona 4 is my favorite. I really loved that game. We must institute a stricter criminal justice system in this kingdom to ensure such fiends never threaten the royal family's safety again. Oh! Frog's theme, finally! My favorite song in this game. So good. What a classic track, dude. So it got good when it abandoned most of SMT's mechanics and became its own thing. Fair. I haven't played the first two, or I guess three Personas. Technically, there's two Persona 2s, right? I haven't played any of those before Persona 3. Not yet. I want to. I am disgraced. I failed to protect my queen. Wrong. Yeah, there's two Persona 2s. There was the first Persona, and then there's... Yeah, I don't remember what they're both called. Eternal Punishment and something else. There's two of them. Yeah, OG and Innocence, is that it? I'm not sure. I haven't played either. I hear they're awesome. I've heard Persona 2 is really good. A lot of people don't like the first one, but I don't know. I haven't played it. Hit that title up. Yakra, that vile beast impersonating me and kidnapping the queen. We must institute a stricter criminal justice system in this kingdom to ensure such fiends never blah blah blah. Innocent Sin, thank you. I hear they're very good. I'm forever in your debt. By the way, what became of the girl who was mistaken for me? Good question. Oh yeah, I forgot all about Princess Nadia. Chrono, where did the princess disappear? She may be there now. You have my deepest gratitude, Lord Chrono, but I wonder who then was that girl we found in the canyon? It wasn't our true queen after all. Dude, you're getting me, like, all pumped up about SMT again. Maybe I will stream the first SMT. I really, really like that game. But I just don't know if it would be entertaining to stream because so much of it, like... You go a long time with no story stuff happening. You're just running around like mazes in first person, basically. It's really fun and engaging as a player, but I don't know if it'd be fun to watch. Random question. Has the game ever moved you to tears? If so, which ones? Unquestionably, yes unquestionably um the first one that comes to mind metal gear solid 4 i find the climax and ending of metal gear solid 4 extremely emotional as that's top two or three favorite franchises for me maybe metal gear solid 3 2 the first time and the final showdown with the boss that's a really really emotional moment um In Metal Gear Solid 4, to be fair, maybe I shouldn't admit this on stream, that wasn't like one manly tear. Metal Gear Solid 4 had me like sobbing when I played it. Like ugly crying hard at that game. That game is really emotional. Final Fantasy 9 and 10. That's not a bad choice. Final Fantasy 10 isn't a bad choice. And um it's a if I'm being honest here, the Season 1, it's the only one I ever played, but Season 1 of that The Walking Dead Telltale game? You guys remember that one? The Telltale Walking Dead. I think the final episode of that one made me cry. Uh, it, that game was, it was a good story, and it had a really emotional ending. That like, Those are the only two I can think of off the top of my head. There's probably more, but those are the only ones that I can think of right now. Oh, what happened? Princess Nadia. Bruno. Oh man, time travel shenanigans. Time for them to start setting in. It was awful. I was so afraid. I couldn't see or feel anything, but I knew I was someplace cold. I wonder if that's what it's like to die. That's a heavy question, Marl. Your Highness, I... Came to help me, too? Wait, your highness? Uh-oh. 
Guess you guys figured me out, huh? She was teleported and retained all the memories of the process. She wasn't teleported there. Uh, Omega Strong. Gotta love the time travel shenanigans. Hope you've been good, Jay. I've been very good. It's good to see you. It's been a bit. How you doing? Final Fantasy X was the first one that got me. The moment when Yuna went to hug Titus and fell through. Oh, wrecked me. But I really resonated with Life is Strange. I saw the final decision coming, but really related to the character's relationship. I have not played Life is Strange. I absolutely see where you're coming from uh, with the final that Final Fantasy X moment. Final Fantasy X has an amazing story, and I will defend Titus as a great main character, uh, like, to the death. I'll die on that mountain. Uh, Titus is so good. Titus's journey, like, from where he is at the beginning of the game to the end of the game, is the best told character, like, hero's journey of any any main character in any Final Fantasy. The fact that he starts out as such an annoying brat and what he becomes throughout the course of the game is what makes him such a good character. Like, it's okay that he starts annoying. He's supposed to because he evolves. Been good. Haven't been on Twitch a ton last while. Good to be back, though. Hey, I'm real glad to have you back, Omega Strong. Titus is Garbo Protag, but I'm Garbo, so I relate to him. I love Titus. I love him. I think he's a great character. Um great become learns to become a leader willing to self-sacrifice at the end like he's he's such a good character like coming to terms with his relationship with his father there is so much going on with titus he's such a well-developed well-written like there's so much depth to him it's nuts yeah i love titus <laughs> i'm like i'm garbage too well there's he tends a wonderful game all right i guess you guys figured me out huh Sorry, Chrono, I didn't mean to trick you. My name's really Nadia. My father is King Guardia the 33rd. See, I know Roman numerals. I just wanted to go to the fair and have fun like everyone else, but if you'd known who I really was, you wouldn't have shown me around the fair, would you? Yes, I would have. Oh, Chrono, that's why I like you. The real queen's safe, right? Let's go home, Chrono. All that said, Final Fantasy X is not my favorite Final Fantasy. Like I said, Nine's my favorite. Um, but I love Ten very much. Ten's Ten's probably top three for me. I'd probably go. My favorite is Nine, and then Seven, and then Ten in third place. And I I would give all three of those games perfect ten out of ten scores. You must be the real Queen Lean. Aye, we truly could be twins. Get along well with the king now, you hear, or I'll get angry. Actually, I wouldn't even be able to do that, would I? I feel like it's a hot take, but I'm on the fence, man. I'm still tempted to give it to 14 as my favorite. That's not that out of a take. There's a lot of big 14 fans out there. Uh, if he's still around, Omega might be one. Omega likes MMOs. Omega, have you played Final Fantasy 14? I feel like you have. Oh, I mean 15. Okay. That's a hot take. Personally, I love Final Fantasy 15 as well, but it's not one of my favorites. I, I do think it's a good game and it's underrated, but there are other Final Fantasies I like a lot more. Shoot the best. Good, you're safe. Even to look again now, you're the ghostly image of Lean. Your manner, on the other hand. Well, never us mind that. You've done me a great service. If there is aught I might do for you, simply speak it, and it will be done. All right, I guess we're done here. Let's go sleep, and then head back to our time. Oh, it's Brog! Brog, come with me, bro. That music. It was my presence here that endangered the queen. I can remain at this castle no more. <laughs> I love that the girls are scared of him. Indeed, your resemblance to the queen is uncanny. Chrono, you've the makings of a great swordsman.
Maybe frogs aren't so bad after all. Sleep, please. Yes. All right. These fights are going to be so easy now. Final Fantasy 15, you know, I haven't, I've only played all the way through Final Fantasy 15 once. When it was brand new, I played it on PS4. I haven't even gone back and played it with the, uh, with like the DLCs they added, like Episode Arden, Episode whatever. I haven't even gone back and played those. So maybe my opinion, I need more information. I really enjoyed the game. I thought Arden was one of the most interesting villains ever. Arden's story, his backstory is awesome. He's a really good villain. The biggest problem with 15 is gameplay, honestly. There's certain things about the gameplay I really don't like. I hate how they handled magic. I hate that magic's like an item that can like hurt your own party. So I basically just never used magic at all in that game, which is kind of a shame. I took breaks to play those when they occur. Really good stuff. Love the lore, and I really enjoyed seeing all the tropes happening in real time. Yeah, I want to go back and play it. One day, I am going to... Ooh, Aura World. I am going to go... I'm going to stream through the entire, like, all Final Fantasy. Maybe not the MMOs, but at least every single player Final Fantasy. Because it is probably my favorite game franchise. It, it, like I said, it's just JRPGs are hard for me to commit to playing on stream because they can be so long. This one's not that long, so this one's not too hard to commit to. This game's 20-some hours. That would be an epic task, but I'll be there to see it. I've played them all before. I've played every single one of them. I just... Streaming them would be big. In fact, most of them I've played multiple times. I've probably beaten Final Fantasy VII maybe four times. I've, I've beaten, I think I've only beaten Final Fantasy 3 twice, once for each version, once for the 3D version, once for the Pixel Remaster. I've beaten 4 countless times. 3 is the only mainline entry. I haven't played 16 while we're, okay, I haven't played 16 yet because I don't have a PS5. 3 is one of my favorites. 3 is, 3 is certainly my favorite of the original trilogy on the NES. I love 3. Uh, and the Pixel Remaster version of 3 is amazing. Then again, so is the, the 3D remake of 3, which is on Steam, is excellent too. Like, that might even be better than the Pixel Remaster version. So how do we get home? Well, your highness, we... Please call me Marl. Well then, Marl, observe. Meh. Luco, you're a nerd. Look what a nerd you are in this game. Whoa. Luco, you're amazing. I played the mm -hmm. demo for 16. It's barely an RPG to me, and it's a bit of a turnoff. Basically, Devil May Cry with numbers. Yeah, I I refuse. I won't judge until I've played it for myself. I'm nerdy. So, I'm withholding all judgment for Final Fantasy 16 until I get my hands on it. Which is probably whenever it finally gets a PC release. Enough already. I'm a princess, but what's that mean? I can't do anything special. But you, you're incredible. I'd trade my name for your genius in a heartbeat. I wouldn't say that, Marl. I'm kicking Luco off the team as soon as I can. Anyway, I call these distortions gates. They're basically portals to the same location in a different time. Gates are unstable. That's why they appear and disappear all the time. So I use the principle behind my telepod device. 
To create this gate key, it's what's locking the gate in place. Why did this gate suddenly appear in the first place? Either the telebot had something to do with it, or something else made it. This is starting to sound complicated. Why don't we head back to our own time for now? Alright, coming, Chrono? One thing I don't remember as I'm starting this again is how the different endings you get are determined. So I have no idea if I should be acting in a certain way or doing something to get, like, the true ending, if there is one. I assume there is a true ending or good ending of some kind. I'll try to aim for it, but I, I don't know how to. Woo, we made it. Chrono, Luco, why don't you come back with me to the castle? It would give me a chance to thank you properly for everything. I'm really sorry for putting you through all this, Marl. What are you talking about? It was the most fun I've had in months. And I made new friends, too. Chrono, be a gentleman and take her home. I still need to do a little more snooping into why that gate appeared. See you again soon, Luco. Well, Chrono, are you ready to escort me home? Yay, we're back at the fair. Yeah, I heard the gossip. Whatever you mind, then. I don't think I have anything to do here. Can I upgrade Marl's equipment at all? I don't think this guy sells anything, no. No, I won't talk to that young lady to get her to sell her pendant to you. Let's go see my mom. Mom, I got a girlfriend. It's the princess. Well, this is a pleasant surprise. I've never seen you bring any girls around except for Luco. Who's this pretty new friend? I'm Marl. Nice to meet you. Marl, you say? Have we met somewhere before? I can swear I recognize you. Perhaps it's just my imagination. Mom, can I have some food? I thought I could get food or something here, can't I? Maybe I'm remembering wrong. Go away, cat. Is it idiot for not making a move on Luco? I don't know. Now he's got a princess that's into him. Maybe he made the right call not making a move on Luco. See? We just took a nap together. Hmm? <laughs> hmm, reducing the form factor of a bipedal robot without compromising compromising balance is tougher than I thought. Oh, Chrono, hurry up and escort the princess back to the castle. What a nerd. I don't like redheads. They don't have a soul, gingers. I say that when literally half my family is a bunch of gingers. Like, everyone in my family married gingers, and so I have a bunch of ginger nieces and nephews. Weird. Marl, you have to fight a bunch of monsters every time you go home? Ugh. Oh, they're incredibly weak. Well, I think we all know what's coming. No way around it. Luco ruined everything early on. He made me steal that guy's lunch. The stupid mushrooms. There we go. Over here. Open glade ahead. Oh, that's nice. All right, let's go get railroaded. 
Princess Nadia. Are you alright? Where on earth have you been? We heard you were abducted. We had soldiers combing the entire kingdom for you. Hmm, you back there. You're the one, are you? Thought you'd kidnap the princess? No, Chrono only. Seize him! Seize the filthy terrorist! He deceived our princess and plotted to overthrow the crown. Jumping to conclusions there, buddy. No, you mustn't. Stop this right now. What are you fools doing? Your Highness, the princess said. Doesn't matter what she said, seize him. Brutal. Oh, I love the trial, dude. Another great track. Classic. I, your chancellor, shall serve as prosecutor. I, Pierre, represent the defense. Oh, great. We got a French person defending us. We're screwed. Members of the court, I will now bring forth the defendant, Chrono, who is charged with the abduction of Princess Nadia. What shall be his fate? To burn at the stake, perhaps? To feel the tickler? Or hang upside down? I picked the tickler. That doesn't sound too bad. Or shall we employ the guillotine? That's better than being burned alive. The choice is yours, good jurors. I stand by Snoo Snoo. Maybe later. We gotta go back to prehistoric times first. Now let us begin. We shall first hear the testimony of the defense. Chrono's charged with premeditated abduction of royalty. The question is, how could he be guilty of a crime that never occurred? That's a good point, Pierre. The prosecution would have you believe that the defendant kidnapped the princess. However, the truth is quite to the contrary. Not only was their meeting a coincidence, but it was the princess herself who asked Chrono if she could join him. Is this true? Who was responsible for initiating contact? Oh, I mean, we bumped into each other. I think I might have ran into her on purpose, because I knew it was supposed to happen. I'll say it was me. Let's go for honesty. I was. Indeed, the defendant deliberately approached the princess, pretending it was an accident. Oof. Ouch. Having subdued the princess, the defendant then coerced her into visiting Luko's little sideshow. There were countless witnesses to this. Shortly thereafter, both the princess and the defendant vanished. If that is not criminal abduction, I don't know what is. Dude, I love, look at the audience, like, ah, shaking their fists. So good, man. This is like peak, uh, like 2D pixel art. Several other acts have also been brought to my attention that call the defendant's character into question. Objection. And not possibly have any relevance to the case. Here to respond, Chancellor. Chrono's character is at the very core of this case, Your Honor. This evidence will show that his testimony cannot be trusted. Very well, we have nothing to hide. I would like to call a witness who can vouch for the defendant's good character. That man brought me my kitty back. Thank you, mister. Aww, cute little girl. How about that? The man before he was a fine, upstanding youth. He deserves to be honored, not put on trial. Woo, looks like they're buying it. Thanks, Pierre. Wait till after the trial to say that. Have you ever stolen anything? Oh, it's the lunch. This one's Luco's fault. I stole the guy's lunch. I didn't mean to. I have... See, he admits it. The man clearly lacks morals. Yep, that's him. 
that's him. That's the people who ate my lunch right off the table, too. My dear wife worked all morning to make that meal for me. Luco, you told me to. In one bite, too. Oh. Sorry, sir. Feeling from a helpless, hard-working citizen who only wished to enjoy the fair. How could anyone sympathize with such a ruffian? The real issue here is motive. Was there any motive for this good youth to kidnap Princess Nadia? No, there was none. Pardon me, but I believe the motive was quite clear. Greed. Her fortune did tempt you, did it not, Chrono? No. Are you sure you weren't in the least bit tempted? Not at all. Very well, no more questions, Your Honor. I believe it has been made quite evident my client is a fine and virtuous young man. The defense rests, Your Honor. Okay, so only one thing counted against me, right? Just the lunch? Did I do anything else wrong? Members of the jury, it is time for a verdict. You believe the defendant guilty? Stand to the left, innocent to the right. All right, let's go to the right, people. Go to the right. Not guilty. Guilty. Not guilty. Yes. Oh, dude, we win. All right, just eating the lunch didn't ruin it. I don't know how many jurors there are. Guilty, you jerks. Not guilty. Oh, and dude, it's almost a blowout. Order in the court. Verdict has been reached. The defendant has been found not guilty. But even if he did not kidnap the princess, the fact remains that he aided in her flight from the castle. What? I sentence the accused to three days of solitary confinement as punishment? Well, that's not that bad, I guess. Take him away. Stop. Princess Nadia. That's quite enough, young lady. But father, all I asked was for you to remain at the castle and behave like a princess. Done is done. Even royalty must obey the laws of the land. Leave the rest up to the chancellor and forget about your little escapade in town. King sucks. I say we overthrow him. But dad... This is pretty dramatic for just like a three day sentence. This man is a seditionist who meant to overthrow our kingdom. Jeez, that's a bit of an overstatement. He's been found guilty? No, I haven't. I trust him to your care. I was found not guilty. So this is the monster who abducted the princess. I was found not guilty. Execution? three days hence. See that he is still here to attend it. Execution. I don't recall hearing anything about that. No cause for concern. There's only been a small delay in the paperwork. Or do you mean to question me? This jerk. Take the prisoner away. Not cool, man. Hmm. Sympathizer from your trial brought that for you. Enjoy it while you can. What the heck? I was found not guilty. This is garbage. I'm getting shanghaied. <laughs> nice. I can at least be uh, annoying to them. I down you. Never. How many times do I have to tell you that? Filthy. If you won't quiet down, I'll quiet him down. Open that door.
Now. That's what you get for not doing what you're told. Oh, good. They left me my sword. That was probably a mistake. Wreck, dude. No prison can hold me. Huh? Oh, I can't get in there? But there's treasure. And... I want it. If I put this one back down, does that help? I hate leaving treasure behind. I remember these things being annoying, aren't they? Let's stay down here for now. That's pretty cool. You know what those little transitional bridges remind me of? Uh, Out of This World reminds me of that. Remember that game? I think it's called Another World in Europe. That might be what it's called for you guys. Ooh, ether, mid potion, mid potion, ether. Play that on the SNES. Oh my, Is that a freaking Cyclops? So you're the ones going and slipped his cell, eh? Ooh, this guy's kind of tough. Oh, you missed, you idiot. You suck. Absolutely wrecked, dude. You didn't even hit me. Don't pay me enough for this. <laughs> uh. Oh, that's right. You got to hit them when they lower the shields or move the shields aside. I remember this now. Move your shield, you punk. I don't remember what all systems out of this world was on. I think it was on, like, everything. I think it was one of those games. I don't know what it originally came out for. Might have been, like, a PC game. Might have been, like, a DOS game originally or something. Ooh. Oh, no! Spooky skeleton. That's basically how I get it a bed each morning. <laughs> how come these ones with chests in them keep not opening? Is there like a secret to... Oh, wait. Look from there. I come in from behind, right? I got to find how to get out there and come in from the outside. What about the other one that was down below here? I actually get plenty of sleep. Shattered limit. And I got to tell you, it feels good to get enough sleep. You, you should try to catch up on sleep if you can. I love me some sleep. There he is. Uh oh. I try to get a. I I think I probably get seven ish hours of sleep most nights. Maybe a little under seven, but rarely less than like six bare minimum. I usually feel well rested. Oh, we gotta be sneaky. Get wrecked. Ooh, miss potion.
I'm a dumb dumb. I work too much, so I make up for it by staying up so I can live a little. I think on average I get like maybe five hours during the week, but go comatose on weekends. Oof. I honestly could not live like that. My my cutoff is, is six hours. Like I have to get at least six hours of sleep or else I'm useless the next day. Like at less than six, I feel it big time. Oh, we gotta help this poor guy. Help me, please. Free him, yes. Poor guy. It ain't easy. I'm just stubborn. Thank you. That was close. I'm Fritz. My father runs the market in Truce. Stop by if you're ever in the area. Yeah, I will, dude. Sucks that you have to work so much. What do you do, Shattered Limit? You may have told me before, but I don't remember. Oh, are you guys gonna get up? Bronze armor. Ooh. Ah, oh, dude, he's a dragoon. He used to jump on me. I'm a motion graphic designer for a casino company. I do art, animations, and more motion graphics on the side, though. That's awesome. That actually sounds like a really cool career. Uh, I already had Bronze. Uh, it's not even anything new. Oh, well. Oh, crap. I enjoy it, but I keep taking on work. Now I'm trying to stream. True. You know, if you're doing stuff like that, I think some people stream that sort of thing. Like, people might be interested in watching you work, like streaming your work. If you're, if you're working on something that, you know, your client would be okay with you streaming. Obviously. <laughs> hey buddy you okay oh he's bones poor guy That could work. I also want to try and convert some of my illustrations into shirt designs and stuff. Trying out the merch stuff on Steam, but the options are limited. True. Neat. Okay. Wait, wait, wait. Wait, wait, wait. How does... Wait, wait, wait. How does this work exactly? Can't go left or right. Oh, oh! How did I... I go down. Hmm. Ah! Now I get it. Now I get how this works. Okay. Oh, it's the chest I couldn't get to before. Nice. This reminds you of Soul Blazer. Oh, dude. I that's another trilogy. It would be super fun to play through. The the like Terra Enigma trilogy. Soul Blazer is the first one of those, right? That'd be really fun to stream through. I've never beaten any of those. I've played them a bit. There he is. You mean Skyblazer? Oh, I don't know Skyblazer. I know Soul Blazer.
Oh, what is there a fantastic game I recently played with a coworker? Nice. I have played maybe the first half of Soul Blazer. I, I liked it quite a bit. Hey, buddy. Just escaping your dungeon. Don't worry. Somebody help. Get wrecked. Luco's here to save me. Chrono, I came to rescue you. Well, looks like you didn't need my help after all. Oh, well. Face Luco. Well, we better not stick around too long. Let's go. I was playing it for the first time. and was like, yo, this is a 2D Dark Cloud. Yeah, Dark Cloud rules. Last of my documents would love lying on the floor. Read it? Yeah. Dragon Tank Design Specifications. Attention, Warden of the Guardia Castle Prisons. The head of the tank is equipped with the capacity to repair damage done to the body, an ingenious marvel of engineering. It's also been enhanced with a shield to prevent damage by lightning and fire, leaving it vulnerable only to attacks with weapons such as swords and pistols. In short, your tank should be effectively invincible, provided no crazed lunatic gets the bright idea to run up and try to hack away at its head with a sword. What a great little note for me to read before the fight. Okay. All right, Luco, let's go. Yo, it's been too long since I played this. This is a really, really fun game. I didn't know if this was going to be like a one-off stream day, but I'm probably going to play through this whole game. What was that? Uh-oh, I better slash its head with my sword. Forward, Dragon Tank. Crush those conspirators. Oh, dang it. My controller's dying. Oh, well, maybe. No, it's working again. It might die soon. It's trying to die. But I hope it doesn't die in the middle of the fight. Nice crit, Chrono, dude. What a beast. Hit it again! Chrono's so strong. Oh man, so many attack vectors. Chill, dude. Alright, we destroyed its head, so now we can go for the body. Oh, it has wheels too, eh? This is the furthest you ever got? I'm gonna try to break its wheels next. So I need, I actually might just have to start having Luko use potions. Taking a lot of damage. All right, now it only has like one way left to attack me. I think we should be able to just kill it now. Ooh, it counters. Ooh. Does it counter magic? Ah, stop it. Let's see if it counters magic. Or tech, whatever. Okay, oh, it does. It counters everything. That's super annoying. Am I missing something? Alright, what do we do with combo? It can't counter both of us, right? What if we do Fire Whirl on this fool? Oh, it died. Level up. Oh, 
dude. Sick. Get it, Chrono. Nice. My dragon tank. Fix it quickly. I love this part. Use them as a bridge. Uh, Luco, you have a portfolio or gallery online? I'm curious of your work. I like the Toriyama piece you started. Same. He's shared a few things on the Discord, if you've looked at those. I don't know if he has, like, a full portfolio somewhere. You should put one together if you don't, Luco. Your work is pretty darn good. Don't fool yourselves into thinking you'll get away with this. your hard drive not too long ago. That's a bummer. You're escaping. But no choice. We'll just have to try to plow through. <laughs> Get away. Stop that right now. Oh, you lost your hard drive to ransomware. Ouch, dude. Man is my friend, and you will treat him as such. Choose to obey my orders? You tell him, Marl. Forgive me, my lady. Your knees, his grace, King Guardia, the 33rd, comes before you. Yeah, you gotta back stuff up in the cloud, sadly. Father. Silence, Nadia. Your duties come before your whims. You're a princess before all else. No, I'm not. I'm a person first and a princess second. All of these little excursions of yours outside the castle seem to be having a bad influence on you. Not influence, it's common sense. Recently deleted my Instagram and Facebook, otherwise I'd totally follow. I've never had an Instagram, and I don't really do Facebook. I don't really like social media, period. I can't live in this stupid castle anymore. I'm leaving. Princess Nadia? Come on, Chrono. Keep it that way, the world's rough, and I need to turn down the volume. <laughs> There they are, don't lose them. And we're left to run. Come along quietly. Welcome back, Luco. Ah! Ah! Move! Dead end. A gate! Come on. Let's just jump through time. What could go wrong? We have no idea where it'll take us. We may, might not be able to get back. Who cares? Anywhere is better than here. I don't like posting every day anything I do unless I'm really proud of it. That's fair. At the same time, uh, not everything you post has to be something you're proud of, right? Like, you can lower your own standards a bit and be like, hey, this is just something I drew when I was bored. It's not necessarily my best work. Usually just post on Discord servers. Totally irrational, you know. I don't remember where we go next. The future? Are we going to the future? Or are we going to prehistory? <laughs> I love that face. It's appeared. Hmm. Looks like future.
There's no way the Chancellor can get us here. That's true. Where are we? Civilization here seems pretty advanced. Almost looks like we're in another world. Oh, yes. We're in question mark. Yeah, I'd love to see some of your stuff too, Shattered. Find some stuff to dig up. One of my more prop pieces when a short film I worked on animation, but technically it was a shitload of drawings. <laughs> the Trandome. Oh, the future sucks. Do I have any cash? Yes. This stuff real? Never seen money like this before. Oh well. That's some good stuff for you. Ooh, a better gun for Luco. Yeah, we can buy afford everything. Let's stock up. Iron suits for all three. Ooh, 2,400. Yeah, we have enough. Let's do it. Iron helms for all three. Potions are dirt cheap. Dude, they're 10 gold? All right, let's grab, like, 12 potions. And we have five shelters in stock. Okay. What service do you use for showing your art again, Luco? I see you send URL. Good question. I don't know the best way to share stuff like that. Better armor. Better gun and armor. You need a better gun, too. And better armor. Nice. So this is a three-party game, not four. That's a shame. My preference is usually four party members over three. There should still be some food at Aristome to the northeast if you can get through Site 16 alive. The spectators that haunt the place can't be harmed by weapons like guns or blades. Huh. Cruz never heard of a dome by that name. This is Trandome. Kingdom Chancellor, has the hunger driven you mad? If you're looking for food, you won't find any here. This is an Enertron. You get a full night's sleep in a few seconds, but it won't do a thing for your hunger. Nice. for at least four. Four is the sweet spot for me. More, and it can start to get a little complex. Four allows you to have, like, you know, physical DPS, tank, healer, and, like, magic DPS. Like, the perfect amount of people. Like, one person for each kind of specialty. Site 16. All right, we gotta get through Site 16. Hello, mouse rat thing. Ooh. Get off my face. Yeah, 10 is, 10 is a really wonderful system where you use everyone. I love that about Final Fantasy X. Final Fantasy X is the only JRPG where I consistently use every single character. Like, I level every character pretty much evenly in that game. I love it. Thanks for that, Mario. Are you winning at Valorant? What are these mites doing? Like, running away from me? Hey! It stole from me! That jerk! What's up here? Did not win the game that you played? Nice crit. Yeah, 
क्या आ रहा Go leveled up. All right, so avoid the rats that are gonna try to steal from me. Ah, uh, ah. Uh. Oh man, I think I missed some stuff. Oh, there's a chest I missed down there. I gotta go back. Oops. I will never leave treasure behind ever. It, oh, I I don't plan to play as Luco. I don't have anyone else to put in Luco's place yet. I only have these three options. Welcome back, Luco. Chrono is so strong, dude. I guess in this game, and granted, it's been super long since I played it, but I don't remember, like, what... What is Luco's like value add? What does she add to a party that someone else doesn't? Is she like the equivalent of like a black mage? You use a lot of magic type stuff with her science? I don't know. E. Ah, stay away rats. Berserker ring, interesting, what's that? Boost attack defense, but you cannot control the wearer. Doesn't seem to raise my attack over the power glove. Uh, nah, no thanks. Okay. All right. Ah. Uh. No! Silver bow! Ooh! Oh, that's a huge attack upgrade for Marl. Nice. Hello, you stupid flowers. You wanna fight? Get off my face! They give me the big suck on my face. I don't like it. They did an awesome job with uh, character animations. Like, attack animations are mostly really good in this, especially Chrono's. Chrono looks friggin' sweet when he, with his attacks. They look awesome. Alright, let's do a big combo here. There's a lot of guys. There we are. Hopefully that will one-shot all four of those. Yes. strong against um I bet they're strong against physical let's try fire nice weak to magic dude we got a healing spell now finally based moral gonna heal us can you hit it all nah it's gonna miss okay these ones are up to you Luco
like that thing. Ether? Hello, weird sleeping monster. Hey, hello. That's a wild design. Ooh, a lot of health. That guy looks cool. Hey, he's giving her the suck. Cut that out. That's what an X-Man looks like IRL? What does that mean? Oh no, more of these guys? Ooh. I need them to line up, or I guess I can uh, fire Whirl. Fire Whirl should kill all three of them. Not the chislings. Chrono leveled. What level are we? Level nine. I feel like we level up really. Oh, dang it! You killed him? You want me to not kill them? What do you want me to do? Just let them attack me? Are they ever going to get close enough to each other for me to hit all of them? I don't think so. Dude, they're not even moving. Come on, move. Dungeon's cool. I'm going to have to fire all these two. So annoying. Every dungeon in this game is pretty good, honestly. Like, it's hard to find a lot of fault in this game. It's a, re it's really short for an uh, JRPG, um, but it just, it very well makes use of all of its time. Like, you're never really bored in this game. It's just constantly moving forward pretty quick. You like this one? It is a good one. Hey, you, wake up. I gotta fight everybody to get all the experience. This guy doesn't want to fight me. He's scared. Hey, we made it. What do we got here? Eris Dome. people are you all being sad who are you you there where have you come from we just came from the other side of the ruins of the west what did you say hey we've got people who crossed the ruins what are you serious so there are people strong enough to fight those mutants Daddy's going to be back with some food soon. Doubt it. I think your daddy's dead. My husband left for the food storage facility down below. We haven't seen him since. Something odd about you. Did you really come from the dome to the west? Yeah. Right? What if I say no? Oh, a rift in time. Well, I can't help you, but if you can get the supercomputer and the substructure running, you might be able to find some helpful information. Check these guns. Back, just art dump on, plug your stuff in the Discord. Awesome! I'm gonna go look at it all in a bit. Pardon me, I didn't even tell you my name. I'm Doan, a descendant of the former director of this information center in the days when it still was one. This dome's substructure holds a supercomputer and a food storage facility, but the robot guards are still active and will not let us through. Robo! Ironic, is it? Is it not? We starve right atop our own food stores. Protodome and an old abandoned factory site lie to the east. We can't get near them, though. The places are filled with robots running berserk. You can reach the continent to the south through the sewers, but I wouldn't advise it. That's where Death Peak sits, source of all this devastation. And besides, even someone as strong as you would never stand a chance against the mutants that live down in those sewers. Hmm... 
There's an old man living in a dome he built near Death Peak. Said he wanted to monitor it. Talk about crackpots. Door with the crest. Push it. Pull it. Bash it. The thing won't budge. Still just as hungry as before. Hey, little girl. You have money. Yep. Uh, nothing new. Dang, I need to go check this art out. Um, how do I go down? Oh, there's downstairs. You plan to go below? Of course. We've made many attempts ourselves, but they've always met with failure. Well, there's no way of knowing what'll happen unless we try, right? Hmm. I don't know what you see in my art, but I'll take the compliments. Nice to see much spirited young people for a change. Careful, then, and come back alive. I'm honestly jealous of, of good, like, visual artists. My talents don't really lie in the visual arts. I've never been able to draw or paint or anything. Um... I'm an okay writer, and I've written a lot of stuff. Just use AI, Fat Mario. Console controls the door lock. We need a password to get through. Okay. This console controls the door lock. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's cool. Huge liberties were taken with the TMNT stuff, but I wanted to make sure, make them my own in a sense. Ooh, a rat. And play into their personalities, and Krang was based on the idea of a friend's idea in the world of the short we wrote directed. Okay, it's something that's better than most people. Yeah, like, I've published some writing stuff. Google AI that makes Elon Musk black. I haven't seen it making Elon Musk black. I saw that it was refusing to make white people. Hello. Initiating commands. Oh no, we just ran into a boss. Corona, what's that? Carl, let's smash this thing. All right, Carl, let's smash it. Usually, we want to destroy ads first. Destroy the pods. Dude, Chrono critting, like, every attack. What an absolute beast. Dude's made of crits. Look, another crit. Oh, no, he's counting down. That's never a good sign. Don't do that. Three? You're already at a three? You're counting down fast. Two? What are we counting down? Odds oh, up, odd revival. That's not so bad. I can just kill him again. Whatever. They die pretty easy. It's an easy fight. Hit him. Oh no. Ah! Amp Stop amplifying things. Would you die, please? 
Three. Everyone get one more hit on him. Breakdown. Did I win? Yeah, we got him. Jay, did you buy those Trump NFTs? I did not buy any Trump NFTs, no. You one of those golden Trump shoes? Hey, I know it doesn't earn me any points on Twitch. I like Donald Trump. I'm voting for him. I didn't vote for him in 2016, but I'm going to vote for him now. But no, I did not buy NFTs or shoes. I gotta catch up on chat. What, what did I miss here? We're talking about buying or selling your stuff? Are you gonna go about selling your stuff, still figuring it out, considering a print-on-demand service? Way too busy to print, package, and sell my own. Okay, I didn't miss too much. All right, that wasn't too hard. Let's go, everybody. Hey, it's that girl's dad, probably. Something reeks. Oh, no, the food's spoiled. Everything's completely rotten. The refrigeration must have failed. Bruno, look. He's not breathing. Oh, dude, that girl's dad died. That's sad. There's something in his hand. What do you suppose this is? It looks like some kind of seed. Seed? Could it even grow in a place like this? Code is written on a solid scrap of paper. That rat is more than just a statue. It knows the secret of this dome. Catch it. Now I'm getting sad about the TikTok ban. Passing the house. Hmm. I don't know. TikTok's pretty awful. I go I'm 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 of two minds on that one. Alright, so we gotta catch this rat. There, that must be it. Oh wait, run after it and press A to catch it. Yeah. Well that was easy. Week I give up. I'll tell you everything. Press A, Y, then B to activate the switch. Once you hear the sound, squeak. A Y B. Dude, which of my buttons are A, Y, and B? A, Y, B. After I hear the sound? You my Family Guy clips? So I'm of two minds on this. What controller am I using? Yeah, I don't know if it's going to use my... I'm using an Xbox Series X controller. I don't know if it's actually going to be the real A, Y, B on this controller or what. That was it. It was the actual AYB. Robots. Um, I'm gonna go heal since I can heal for free over here. Heal and save. Oh wait, there's the healing thing. All right, I was trying to hold it, but I can't. I need a quick restroom break. I'll be right back. Don't go anywhere. It'll only be like less than a minute.
All right, I'm back. Told you it wouldn't be too long. Shattered Limit has only streamed a few times that I've seen because of his limited time. Okay. Said he's streaming this evening. Oops, why is my... There we go. Oh, was the BR... There was no music on the BRB stream? There's there's supposed to be. Let me, let me double check. Let me throw it back there real quick. Yeah, somehow, somehow the BRB music got muted. There is music set there. I didn't notice it was muted. Luco, you just gotta stop sleeping. It's that simple. Oh, the robot shoots things that move. Interesting. Ew. Would I do to surprise yourself? Yeah, do it. Do it, Luco. Here, bugs. Let's fight. Jam out to the battle track every time. Hitting computer bugs? Allure? What's that do? What did you just learn, Marl? Confuse the enemy. I doubt that'll be very useful. Okay. I'll just... Oh, missed. So, Shattered Limit, upon replaying Resident Evil 1, I assume you played that game a lot of times, because when you were in my stream, I think you were there when I played the first one, you were dropping lots of knowledge. I assume you know basically everything about that game. Uh, do you prefer the Jill or the Chris campaign? Virgil personally mostly because of Barry's dialogue. It's hard to fight against Barry. Barry's so good. And the extra inventory slots are nice. Yeah, Barry is comedy gold. Hmm. What is making that noise? The remake's 50-50. Yeah, Jill campaign's not funny in remake because, like, Barry, Barry's not funny in the remake. They made Barry, like, a normal person in the remake instead of, like, hilarious. I didn't even move, bro. Not fair. Kill that robot.
What is making that noise? Not like. Do you? Uh, as a character, I prefer him in the remake. He was caught in a rock in a hard place, and I feel like they do a better job showing his shadier side in it. Yeah. Talk shit about Barry in my stream. Well, slightly overrated, but it was nice seeing his return in Revelations 2. I will be excited to get to the Revelations games. I've never played them. I own them, but I've never played either of them. did something. All right, boys. It's time. Time for what? Time to keep watching the stream. And not leave. I uh, need to shower and veg. All right, Luca. Well, thanks for hanging out, dude. This must be the supercomputer. Good. It's still operational. We run a search on temporal distortions. We might just find our gate. Thanks for the art compliments too. Can't wait to see your finished Toriyama piece. Yeah, that's gonna that should be good. Are you gonna color it and everything, Luco? Or do you just draw? Emote. Oh. Protodome. You are gonna try and color. Okay, cool. Leave to Luco. Who'd have thought this machine could tell us something like that? What does this button do? Oh, great. We'll go 1999 AD. Visual record of the day of Lavos. Oh, it's time to find out about Lavos. How exciting. See you, Luco. You're looking at the day of Lavos, Fat Mario. Duh. That was in 1999. What? What was that? Lavos. Is that what destroyed the world? Then this really is our future. No, it can't be. I won't believe it. This... This can't be the way the world ends. Chrono. Hey, that's right. We can change it. Change history, just like Chrono did when he saved me. We have to. Right, Luco? Right, Chrono? Riz her up. What does that even mean? Yeah, I guess so. And fortunately, we've got gates that will let us move through time. What do you say, Chrono? Okay, let's do it. All right, it's set. Proto Luca, let's do this. First things first, let's get back to our own time period and see if we can find any information about this Lavos. Next stop, Protodome. You don't know what the word of the year means. I feel like you've explained it before. Doesn't it mean, like, give him a makeover? You want to give her a makeover? Is that what it means? I don't know, man. Zoomers use dumb words. An ability to charm and woo a person. So, if you say riz her up, you mean charm and woo her? That's what you mean? Kinda? That's dumb. We have words for that already. I feel like Riz adds nothing to the English language. 
It's a it's a useless addition. It's like a combo, so many different ways to woo a person. Only a matter of time before it's added to the dictionary if it hasn't been already. Yeah. But I mean, like, the dictionary hasn't really meant anything in a while. There's multiple dictionaries. Some of them add, like, stupid slang words because it gets them, you know, they get a little bit of media coverage. If they're like, hey, we decided to make, I don't know, what did they call it? Ogre style or something? We decided to make ogre style a word now. Like, even though that's literally not a word, it's multiple words. It wasn't ogre style. It's something style that was, like, the word of the year last year. So dumb. I do not approve. Ah, oh, they put Chrono to sleep. He literally lays down and he goes to sleep. I like that. Noob is in the dictionary. Ugh. Like, it's okay for some words to not be real words, right? Why do they feel the need, like, to add stupid slang to the dictionary? Slang doesn't need to be in the dictionary. It's okay for it not to be, like, a real official word. That's fine. You, you're back. Yeah, we found that girl's dead dad. And what did you discover? This is our future. Huh? Who cares? Where's the food? This was the only thing left. Yas is in the dictionary. Doesn't Yas, isn't Yas literally just purposely misspelling yes? That's not even a unique word. It's just yes spelled wrong. A seed. You don't know how long that Enertron will hold out. That seed might be your only hope. Anyway, just stay alive. Don't give up. We won't either. I'm not saying it right. It's not Yas. What is it then? Yas? Oh, it's Yas, isn't it? I don't care. It's dumb. Hmm, you're a strange bunch. You're different from us, somehow. You mean because we haven't lost hope? Oh, there's a word I haven't heard in some time. It does have a comforting ring to it, though. Also, I am saying it right. Clearly, whoever spelled it that way initially doesn't know their phonetics very well, because Y-A-S would not be pronounced Yas. Like, straight up, it would not. That would be Y-O-S. That is clearly Yas. I don't know what kind of seed this is, but I'll do my best to grow it. What's that? This may be just the thing we needed. You're off to Protodome, then. You'll need to pass through Site-32. Take this with you. Jet bike key! Key to a jet bike parked at the Site-32 ruins. I used to write it when I was young. Hopefully it still works. I don't think that's how the English language works all the time. The English language does have rules that can be broken, but... Generally, there would be a reason if they were to be. Uh, there is no reason y yes, Y-A-S would be pronounced yas. There, There is a logic, there is a method to the madness generally in the English language when stuff sometimes seemingly works differently. You sir, right? It, usually, if so, okay, we'll get into this a little bit. Now, I'm not, I'm not an expert on this stuff. Usually, if a word is like, yes, all right, Shatter Limit, it's hodgepodge of other languages. 
the rules are fairly inconsistent at times. Largely true of Shattered Limit, but that also explains why something like Yas makes no sense. Generally, when a word or something doesn't follow what we would expect the normal rules to be, it's because we borrowed that from another language and we follow their rules for that word we're using. When we're just making up some new stupid slang, there would be no reason to spell it that way. Like, we're not taking... That's not like Yas was a German word that we're like, now we're going to use this German word Yas, which is spelled Y-A-S. It's Yas. They've got even more powerful robots in that dome, and they've overrun the place. Take care and don't give up hope. My favorite word will still be anti-disestablishmentarianism. That's a big word. Large word it be. Why is daddy taking so long? Your dad's dead. We're not going to tell her? Oh, well, at least we told the mom. Abandoned sewers. Wait, but I want to go through here, right? I want to go through that. So what's in the sewer? Let's go check the sewers. Even though they told us we were too weak. I'm curious about them. My favorite word can't be said in chat. Eek outsiders. Better report to Crawley. What is this place? Onomatopoeia is a close second. Yeah, okay. I didn't know that we were supposed to have favorite words. I don't think I have that. Whoa, these guys are strong. What the heck? Why do you have so much health? I was hoping you'd crit, dude. Is that because I'm flat? <laughs> Chrono. Six hundred gold. All right. I don't. I feel like I'm not supposed to be here yet, but I think I'm strong enough to handle it. Let's go check it out more. As long as Chrono keeps critting. Underling. There was a bridge here. I saw it. I swear, Ribbit. What? It got up and walked away, Ribbit? Don't you lie to me. There's nothing here at all, Ribbit. But it's true, Ribbit. Someone's coming. Let's scram, Ribbit. Shattered Limit. I think that Mario was being serious when he said he uses AI. I'm pretty sure he got that uh, out of AI. But... In my opinion, if you use AI to make something, that is your art. So I would argue, yes, that is his. But I know many artists, especially, would argue very much that doesn't count. This place is a town on the spooky side. Got a bad feeling about this. What's your deal? Oh, Freaking cat, set me up. Lightning?
What's this crap? What the? Oh, come on. Everything I touch makes something attack me. Nice. We get three of them. Stuff you can do with those AI things these days is pretty awesome. Like, you really can make, like, unique, interesting art if you're willing to put in the work. It's not, you're not going to get it just from being like, hey, make me a picture of this. But if you're willing to, like, really put in the work, to, like, learn to use the tools properly, you can make some pretty darn impressive stuff. Like, the, like Black Elon Musk, yeah. That's what I'm talking about. No, I've just seen people make stuff that literally looks like, you know, like somebody spent, uh, you know, dozens of hours, like, drawing and, like, digitally coloring. Like, it could be, like, in a AAA professional comic book. Pretty cool. Oh, that was a fake save point? That's dirty. Oh, they're too far apart. No! Why? Playing for the J Conqueror's AI song. You can make AI songs? That I have not played around with. I've played around with like AI prompts, like text stuff. I played around with AI, like for making pictures. I've not played around with singing AI. That sounds interesting. There was an AI rapper that got canceled. Yeah, you mentioned that earlier in the stream and I forgot to ask about it. I have not heard of this. I don't have a clue what that's about. Why did he get canceled? Was he being racist or something? Because that that's pretty funny if that's what was happening. He said your favorite word too much. You know they made SpongeBob skits using AI. Ah, uh, I may have seen I may have seen some of those on YouTube or something. Now that you mention it. follow xqc ai i don't know what that is i know who xqc is right streamer you were all mad at me when i didn't know who that was immediately before now i know How fun. I don't know if this is where I'm supposed to be, or if this is like an optional dungeon, or, or if yeah, I'm just here early. I have no idea. I don't know if I'm supposed to be here at all. Looks like you just have to press this switch and the bridge looks sent across, Ribbit. So switch it on already, Ribbit. Ribbit. I can't reach it, Ribbit. And you call yourself a frog. Someone's coming. Let's scream. Rage band. What's that do? Grants 50% counter attack rate. Whoa. That seems pretty awesome. I'm not going to equip it yet, but that seems really, really good. Three of them, and they're almost here. Crawley, waltzing through the sewers like they own the place, eh? He must have a death wish. We'll teach him a little. Ooh, Crawley, he's the boss of this place. Yes, yes, he will. He -he. Let's let him come through here. They'll be chopped liver, pulverized. Won't even know what to call him when we're done.
Hmm? Alright, Crawly. We'll see what you got. Oh, my. I'm not sure how I feel about... Oh, that's a lot of damage. Is she? She's not dead. Heal yourself, please. I left her at 1 HP. Is that what he does? He does a special move that always leaves you at 1 HP. Freaking Crawly. Oh, he's doing the thing again. I bet let's see at least with one HP. That he does. Yeah, seems like that attack always leaves you at one HP exactly. Alright, he's dead. Take that, Crawly. Luca leveled up. All right. How dare you blow bubbles at me? I don't love the UI. I, I would rather have like their health bars and like their timing bars like on the bottom of the screen rather than under each individual character. When it jumps all around the screen and it's not always in the same spot, I find it harder to keep track of. It's not a huge deal, but I don't I don't really like that. I'm pretty sure it was at the bottom in the original, yeah. And I, I think that was a change for the worse. Like I said, not a deal breaker. Not that big of a deal, but. Underblade. Whoa! Ooh! Nice. Oh, oh, that got us over here? Whoops, I didn't even mean to come over here. Am I supposed to be over here? I guess let's go check it out. Is this the Proto Dome? Keeper's Dome. So yeah, this is not where I was supposed to be going. So this is just an interesting place. Go check it out. work. Oh, spooky guy. Hello. Oh, wise one. I cannot wait to see what program code you will install in me next. Oh, now that's the sort of appreciation that makes all my work worthwhile. How's the current one? Seems a little better than before, anyhow. This old guy's cool. Jala. Oh, I've missed you so. No, you mustn't go to Death Peak. Wouldn't make it very far anyway. It has to be the right time, and and it has to be them, or or the way it's shut. Yes. Hey, have you seen my masterpieces, the Ocean Palace and the Blackbird? I designed and built them both, you know. Fine works, wouldn't you say? Whoa, I don't know what any of that means, dude. You are crazy. All right, well, we came here and um, at the old man. I guess we'll actually go the way we're supposed to go now. 
I found a cool sword out of it, though, and got some free levels, so I'm not mad. But we do gotta go back. Dude, time flies when you're playing Chrono Trigger. I gotta end the stream soon. I'll probably be playing this again tomorrow. I doubt I'm gonna exclusively play this all the way through until I beat it. I'll probably maybe throw in some Castlevania games in between and stuff. I'm here. Oh, I'm back here again. Okay. So that's a fake save point. But tomorrow, I'll be doing more Chrono Trigger, and then maybe Rondo of Blood the next day. Because I am really excited to play that. Enjoying the... I, I'm having a blast with the Castlevania story. I kind of want to keep playing Castlevania. Oh, there's a diary here. I missed this before. The final entry reads as follows. I'm through. I can't take any more of this. The Fishman attack, if I make even the slightest noise. I knew things would be like this. I'd have taken the guillotine any day of the week. I think I'll go out with a good loud scream. See how the soggy freaks like that. Oh, he could have warned me not to touch all the stuff I kept kicking and fighting them all. Okay. Did I miss anything down here? Alright, all done here. Uh, let's go use the free healing thing. Did they ask you anything? No, I don't think so. Just saying, I was was really, really enjoying those Castlevania streams, and I'm super pumped to play Rondo of Blood. Like, really excited to play that game. To the point that I, I may, I may change my mind to play Rondo of Blood tomorrow. I don't know. I'm enjoying Chrono Trigger so much, but at the same time, I'm super pumped for that game. I'll probably do Chrono Trigger tomorrow. Alright, let's try to get through one more dungeon before we end this stream. Let's try to get to the Proto Dome and then pick it up at the Proto Dome tomorrow. Win Fortnite? I'll tell you what, Fat Mario, maybe I'll have a a new stream goal. Like a bit a bit goal or something, and I have to do a Fortnite stream when it's finished. Because I have literally no interest in playing Fortnite. Like none at all. So maybe if I get enough bits, I'll be willing. Cause I think you're the only one that wants a Fortnite stream. Hold it right there. Yeah, see? <laughs> oh. Bro. Bro, thanks for the intro, boys. The robots love bro. You low lives can call me Johnny. I'm the leader of this pack. Now listen up. The ruined highway up ahead is the only road you've got. You want to reach the other side, then you're going to have to ride in a race against me, that is. Is that Prince? You know what? I wouldn't have made the connection, but he does kind of look like he's based on Prince. Like the purple, the purple suit. I'll let you use that jet bike, because that's the kind of guy I am. Don't sweat it. And don't you dare chicken out, babe. So, do you shiny axles know how to ride? No. Alright, listen up and let Johnny tell you how it's done. The gas is on auto, so there's only one speed. Fast. The steer just press the up and down direction buttons. Tap the B button for a turbo booster. I'll give you three of them. The B icons show how many you've got left. Heads up though, after you use one, you can't use another until the gauge of the icons refills. You can check your position from the finish line on the screen. Now show me what you've got, babe. Okay, this actually sounds kind of fun. Oh, dude. Mode seven, baby. High tech, Super Nintendo action.
Look at this. We, did we ever need graphics to get better than this? This looks like real. See, the booster doesn't really seem to serve much purpose. I just need to use it like right before we reach the goal, right? Yeah. This is the most random thing I've seen in video game in a while. Ghost of Tsushima got nothing on this. I actually love Ghost of Tsushima. I'm gonna, I'll probably repurchase it on PC and uh, stream it sometime because that game is so much fun. I, I, I absolutely loved that game on PS4. That game is so much fun. You beat me, I don't get it. Well, you can come challenge me again anytime. We'll ride the wind, babe. Uh, So Fat Mario, kind of silly stuff like this. This is right up like 90s Squaresoft's alley. Literally the 90s and early 2000s, Squaresoft was like the goat. They made so many masterpieces, like one after another, and they, they always put silly stuff like this in them. Derelict factory. Take a quick little peek at this factory. I'm, bet, I'm betting the factory is my next dungeon. Oops. Can you hit with physical attacks? A one damage? Okay. Oh, he uses fire, so I probably don't... Well, let's try flamethrower. One damage. Hmm. Dude, how do I hurt this guy? What about, um... Fire Whirl? Zero? Dude, I can't hurt him. I only do one damage. Oh, three damage from her crossbow. Maybe a crit? Maybe if I get lucky and crit? No, one damage. Oh, she... Okay, he doesn't have very much health. Okay. I thought I was going to have to do, like, 100 plus damage to him. Alright, let's bail on this place. All right, so this was where we were trying to get the Proto-Dome. We made it. So I'm going to save right here, and we'll pick it up at the Proto-Dome tomorrow. This game is every bit as good as I remember so far. This game's super fun. All right. Well, hey, thank you for watching, everybody. Uh, let's see. You know what? I don't usually plug my stuff. If you're not usually here and you have any interest in following the stream, you should check out my Discord. You can join us on the Conquerors, talk about video games, Akira Toriyama. And, uh, yeah, I'll be back tomorrow, same time, uh, 6 o'clock Pacific. I, sh I need to I need to fix that stuff, Fat Mario. Oh, yeah, and I, and I also need to make my chatbot work on the YouTube chat, because it doesn't right now. Uh, anyway, I will be back tomorrow, same time, with more Chrono Trigger. Thanks so much for hanging out. I hope to see you then. Fat Mario, Shattered Limit. Shattered Limit, I'll see you soon. You're streaming soon, right? I'll be in your stream watching you play some Resident Evil. I will see you guys later, and I am going to check out your art. Have a good one.